And good afternoon to you. Welcome to Minden Unity High School, home of the Mustangs for today's broadcast doubleheader of JV basketball action. First with between the Griggsville Perry Tornadoes and the Unity Mustangs, followed by the varsity contest between the same two squads. Good evening or afternoon, I should say to you. I'm Charlie Hull. Jack and John are alongside. We've traveled to Minden, Winchester this morning, Minden this evening with the snow. Who knows where we'll be at later on tonight. But we know we've got basketball action between the Battle of the Maroon and White here tonight. It's the Great Rivers Bank pregame show. We'll talk more about this JV matchup on the other side of this timeout. Wish you had extra cash for a vacation, a boat, a new car, projects around the house. Free up more cash for the things you want by taking advantage of low interest rates. Refinance your home with Great Rivers Bank and keep more of your money by lowering your monthly payment. Start the process online at greatriversbank.bank and work with one of our experienced loan officers to get the lowest rate possible. Great Rivers Bank, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Fresh Years on You would like to thank everyone in our community for your support in the past 15 years. We have over 1,400 square foot of retail space with spirit wear for Unity Mustangs, Liberty Eagles, Brown County Hornets, and our hometown Central Panthers. Businesses, let us help you promote your brand. Decoration methods we offer include screen printing, embroidery, and laser engraving. We are excited to now offer lasered hat patches. With limitations on attendance to local sporting events, we are excited to help bring you this game. Fresh Years on You by 506 Westwood, Camp Point, Illinois. Fresh Years on You would like to thank everyone in our community for your support in the past 15 years. We have over 1,400 square foot of retail space with spirit wear for Unity Mustangs, Liberty Eagles, Brown County Hornets, and our hometown Central Panthers. Businesses, let us help you promote your brand. Decoration methods we offer include screen printing, embroidery, and laser engraving. We are excited to now offer lasered hat patches. With limitations on attendance to local sporting events, we are excited to help bring you this game. Fresh Years on You, 506 6 Westwood, Camp Point, Illinois. PCRE Real Estate and Auction is your number one resource for buying or selling real estate in West Central Illinois. With two office locations, one in Pike County and the other in Calhoun County, PCRE Real Estate and Auction is the place to go when you're looking to buy or sell farmland, recreational and hunting land, residential or commercial property. See our current listings at PCRERealEstate.com or call us at 217-285-5800 for PCRE Real Estate and Auction. Cole Best Systems Builders for all your insulation needs. We are a full-service insulation contractor offering both open and closed cell spray foam, blown cellulose, and fiberglass installation. Best Systems has two BPI certified professionals ready to inspect your home or business today. You may qualify for incentives through the American Act on Energy program. Call Scott or Michael at 217-285-6005 for your free estimate or visit us online at GoBestSystems.com and start saving money on your energy bill today. Welcome back on the Great Rivers Bank pregame show on Central Illinois Sports. The Mustangs and the Tornadoes matching up here this afternoon in uh, JV action first of all. And Jack, you got a chance to watch this young Griggsville Perry squad the other night and they could shoot it. They like to shoot the three. Uh, their coach told me that even though I saw them shoot 23 times in the first half the other night, he said last night we put up like 18 and made 13 of them in the first half. Uh, Myers boy and the Miller boy, you'll be impressed with what they do. And Charlie, at the bottom of your card, uh, Miller is 20 on that. Thank you. Because that was kind of a late entry for me, and I never got that updated, so I'll make sure you have that. The impressive part about Griggsville Perry is two of the guys who have been integral to their success when it comes to the, some of the younger levels, you know, winning a state championship and doing very, very well record-wise in that junior high level. The uh, Lipcomen twins both have injuries to their left arms left wrist i mean identical only they're they're a little different breaks but you know i told i told her dad yesterday if they'll just be a little tougher like their mom like those dairy farm people from liberty they'll be okay that's some weird twin stuff there you gotta hey. be pretty dedicated to you know what they're <laughs> tough guys and late oh, yeah. light will be back before you know it and so say an extra prayer for them folks that's one of the things we want to do is keep all these kids in your prayers and you know there's a young Nelson boy down at Calhoun that's been a star for three years and plus in his senior year. Comes down the other night, tears the ACL, MCL, and he's done with everything. 
for his senior year. So when you're when you're saying your prayers, think about these kids. But today we're going to have competition between the Men in Unity Mustangs and the Greensville Perry Tornadoes, and we're looking forward to it. It all comes your way on Great Rivers Bank on the pregame show, and Great Rivers Bank is the place for you to go. You know, with locations in Pittsfield, Barry, and Liberty, they're here to help you with your lending and personal banking needs. Friendly service, dedicated loan officers that can help you with buying a home, opening a business, or making a deposit. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Let's pause for a timeout of the Great Rivers Bank pregame show. We'll have the starters for this junior varsity contest between the Tornadoes and the Mustangs. Coming here right next. With all the financial headlines, are you wondering if your retirement savings will last? The market's ups and downs can keep you guessing, especially if you're approaching retirement or considering it. Your Edward Jones financial advisor, Derek Harris, can help. If you have more questions than answers about what's next, you can work together to help ensure you're prepared for your journey. After all, retirement isn't the end of the trek, it's the new beginning. Stop by the office at 1891 Main Street, Quincy. Edward Jones, making sense of investments, member SIPC. It's time for you to find out the difference that thousands have found with Westtown Ford in Jacksonville. If you're looking for a new Ford, Lincoln, or maybe a used car truck or SUV, why don't you take the short drive to Jacksonville, Illinois, Westtown Ford. They have the best sales and service in the area, and what a selection thousands to choose from. It's Westtown Ford in Jacksonville, 30 minutes from high prices. Phone 217-245-7101 or go to westtownford.com. Damon Plumbing, serving all of Pike County and the surrounding area with quality residential and commercial plumbing services. Damon Plumbing offers septic installation, drain cleaning, new water lines, remodel work for your home, or if you're planning a new build, make sure you include the Damon guys to get it right the first time. No job too big. Have you seen Brayton and Doug? Or too small? Sorry, Corby, we couldn't resist. Call Brayton today at 217-491-5415 or Doug at 217-617-2318. Damon and plumbing recommended by our family for your family. They say nothing in life is free. Well, we're here to tell you they're wrong because when you switch to U.S. Cellular, you can get the Samsung Galaxy S21 5G for free with no hidden requirements. That's right. The Samsung Galaxy S21 5G has launched and you can get it for free with no hidden requirements. U.S. Cellular. Terms and conditions apply. See store or uscellular.com for details. Cards Communications, your local U.S. Cellular agent on the corner of Jackson and Washington Street in Pittsfield. Call 285-5400 for Cards Communications. I'm Gary Mendenhall. I am running for mayor because I believe in the future of Pittsfield and its citizens. We have the potential to thrive economically and safely in a state where the outlook appears tough. Let's prosper and grow as a community through job creation, tourism, and recreation. We are neighbors and friends who care, love, support, and stand up together. On April 6th, vote Gary Mendenhall for mayor of Pittsfield. Welcome back on the Great Rivers Bank pregame show. Let's take a look at the Westtown Ford keys to the game. And as we look at Grigsville Perry, who we've seen once, I have at least, key to the game is that they can make their three-pointers and get an up-tempo game because that's what they'd like to do. On the other side, for Minden Unity, you know what one thing we're seeing is? They've got more numbers out here for JV Ball and for Varsity than we've seen in quite a while for them. They've always been a tough competition but they'd have five or six guys that kind of run out of gas. They look like they got some more numbers now. Yeah, they do, and they've got good size at this JV level, too. And a guy who could have a big day is uh, Melvin McMillan. He's the 6'3 freshman. You put him in there with a 6'3 sophomore and Gavin Koenig. And uh, those two young men together uh, could be some uh, tough guys to handle for the Springfield Perry team that doesn't have a lot of height. I do have to warn you, most of the teams haven't sent me height, so I've kind of made them up. Minden actually sent me some height, so that was nice of them. Can't believe you lie like that. Let's take a look at the starting lineups first for the visiting team. The Grigsville Perry Tornadoes. Keenan Elliott is the junior varsity coach. At a guard, he's a six-foot freshman, Michael Myers. At a second guard, he's a 5'7 sophomore, Logan Evans. And at the third guard spot is the 6'1 freshman, Eli White. At a forward, he's a 6'3 freshman, Kyle Waters. And at the other forward is Rory Phillips, the 5'7 freshman. Phillips, White, Waters, along with Evans and Myers for the Tornadoes. For the Minden Unity squad, they'll start at a guard, a 5'8 sophomore, Carter Caspery. At a second guard, a 5'10 freshman, Cody Schaefer. And then Nick Maynard will start. He's a 5'9 sophomore. Melvin McMillan, as we told you, will start at the forward spot. He's a 6'3 freshman. 
And at the other forward is the 6'3 sophomore, Gavin Koenig. Koenig, McMillan, Maynard, Schaefer, and Caspery for the Unity Mustang Junior Varsity team. Had two good broadcasts this morning. Second one went to overtime. We can only hope for more competitive basketball this afternoon and a safe drive home in the snow. Be careful out there. She's really coming down now. It'll be Griggsville Perry basketball as we get things underway. Let's let Charlie tell you about it. Well, it's the exciting inbound the ball in the backcourt to start the game. Woo! And let's see how the Tornadoes do it. The fans are on their feet. And inbounding the ball is Evans. He'll get it to Myers, who plays the point. Brings it across the time stripe. Works it off on the right side to Phillips. Top of the key with it now to White. Over in the corner, Myers. Three ball is an air ball. And the rebound down. Two men in unity's Caspery. Gets the ball to Schaefer. Over on the right side is McMillan. Attacks the rack down low. Shot up no good. Foul, then he'll shoot two. And McMillan took the ball right to the hole that time. 7.41 to play in the first. He'll head to the free throw line. I think uh, Rory Phillips is going to pick up that foul. If I'm not mistaken, let's see. I don't see anything on the board, but I think that is Phillips. We'll give him the foul and the free throw coming the way of the young man in Mr. McMillan. First one is up and too long. Bowlers Universe, they're open tonight until midnight. Check out their menu of burgers and fries, specialty pizzas, and just about everything in between. They have lots of great craft beers on tap as well. They have open bowling today, next Saturday, and the 20th. Come out and enjoy the fun at Bowlers Universe. McMillan gets our first point of the ball game on the free throw. Makes it a 1-0 lead for the Unity Mustangs on the Trash Queen scoreboard. With the basketball out front is Logan Evans. Hands the ball to Miller. This is Aaron Miller. Down low to Myers. Behind the back with it. Back out to Miller against the man-to-man -man pressure of Minden Unity. To Eli White. White fakes. Now he tries to drive and he's tripped up and fouled by Koenig. Gavin Koenig's going to pick up the first foul for the Mustangs. First team foul. Ball out of bounds under the basket for the squad from Grigsville Perry. Both these teams, maroon and white, with some gold flicked in there at times. Well, Minden has the blue. Grigsville Perry has the gold. Oh, that's right. They do have some blue. Miller with it on the uh, right wing. Works it out between the circles. That's to Evans. Logan Evans is the 5'7 sophomore. Only sophomore on the roster. He'll try the dribble drive in. Past his man. Gets to the rim. Shot no good, but foul. Then he'll shoot two. Evans has really picked his game up quite a bit. I tell you, I've been impressed with him. That looks like uh, Maynard is going to pick up the foul. Nick Maynard will be his first team second. And free throws for Evans as we're underway. Logan puts the first one up and puts it through. We're tied at one on the Trash Queen scoreboard. Serving Pike, Morgan, Scott, and Adams County. It's Trash Queen, 3-2-0, 43-20. We've got a lead change. Evans made them both. 2-1 GP with the lead. Here's a pass into the front court. Comes to the big boy, Koenig. He'll work it on the right side, Caspery. Caspery will pull it out between the circles. Now Cody Schaefer gets a touch. Right back to Caspery. Looking for a little high-low action against the zone of Grigsville Perry. Now to Schaefer. Long arms and Miller causes the turnover. Pushing it ahead into the front court. Michael Myers left-hand layup good. And the Tornado's out to a 4-1 lead. In this contest, Schaefer into the front court to McMillan. He'll attack down low. Tried the pass across the lane. Finds Koenig. Tough turnaround shot won't fall. McMillan rebound put back. Count an and one. McMillan with a bucket. He'll get the and one. And the foul on Grigsville Perry. That's going to go against Myers. And Michael Myers will pick up his first. It's a 4-3 ball game with a chance for us to have our second tie of the day. It's short, and the ball's tipped back out. Offensive rebound. Koenig kept it alive to McMillan, who's picked up the dribble. He looks for an opening. Now hands it off to Schaefer near the sideline left side. Dribbles toward the top of the key and is bumped and fouled by Miller. Miller picks up the foul. That'll be his first. Into the contest for the Tornadoes comes Colby Tate as he sits down Eli White. 6.21 to play in the opening quarter. 4-3 the advantage for the Tornadoes in this junior varsity game. Koenig with it at the high post. Works it left side. Schaefer going to get a good look for three. No good. Ball will go out of bounds on the rebound. And it will be Grigsville Perry ball length of the court to go. If you're men in unity, you can take a chance shooting the threes with those two big boys underneath because they are much taller than anybody else on the court. About two minutes into this junior varsity contest, the Tornado's a one-point lead, and now the basketball. Myers works off of the screen. He'll pass it across the top to Evans. Evans off the screen from Tate to Myers. Now Miller. 
Miller tries the dribble drive to Waters at the free throw line. Outside, Evans shovels it along to Myers off of the screen. Down to Tate. Tate back out to Myers. Good ball movement here. Nice defense by Minden Unity. Out near the half-court line, Miller gets a touch. He'll give the ball to Logan Evans. Evans with a crossover move to Myers. Puts it on the floor one time. Right back to Evans on the left side. Going to try to get the screen from Waters to Miller. Right side, Myers off the screen. Step back three, no good. Rebound on the play to Caspery for Minden Unity. His second pushes it into the front court. Michael Myers with the steal. He'll push it ahead to Miller. Little one-on-one -on -one he and Schaefer, and Schaefer takes it back on his side. He'll bring it into the front court on the pass to McMillan, attacks the middle. Nice dish down low, up and in by Nick Maynard. What a find by McMillan. Makes it a 5-4 lead for the Unity Mustangs. Second lead change of the contest as and Unity back on top. That was a pretty find by the big boy. You can get a kid that size that can handle the ball. And that could help you out for a number of years. And he's just a youngster, a freshman. And now Miller, they say, stepped on the baseline out of bounds and turned over on the tornadoes. I think Miller realized how open he was going to be there. The defenders left him before the whistle was blown. Caleb Caspery and Ethan Boss will check into the game for the Mustangs. And we have the mask break. We'll take it to 450 to play in the first. 5-4 the advantage for Grigsville Perry. And to check that, how about Minden over Grigsville Perry back after this. In the charming town of Pittsfield, Illinois, awaits a dining experience sure to impress. Nucci's Restaurant, specializing in Italian cuisine, succulent steaks, seafood, pasta, burgers, sandwiches, and scrumptious desserts all made to order. Mouthwatering and high-quality dishes at affordable prices. Nucci's is the perfect setting for a dinner date or a family meal. It's more than dining, it's an experience. Check out Facebook for live entertainment. Once you experience Nucci's, it will become a... Since 1962, but, Logan Ag has provided customers but, with quality but, products, competitive but, prices, and... But what about the new locations, Grampy? What new locations? Well, boys, Logan Ag now has locations in Winchester, Illinois, and in LaBelle, Missouri. So now there are four? I'll be four this year. Logan Ag, serving customers in Griggsville and Winchester, Illinois, Paris, and LaBelle, Missouri. Our vision for agriculture is 2020. 5-4, Minden Unity with the lead in the basketball. 4.49 left in the first quarter. First mask break, media timeout. We're back to live action, and now Miller's going to get caught for another. No, nope, nope. nope, my mistake. Yep, it's going to be Evans. Evans will pick up his first. Caleb Caspery has checked into the game as Carter Caspery sat down. Inbounding the ball here will be Nick Maynard. Gets the ball in as a tip by Evans, trying to secure the steal. And he tips it ahead to his teammate Miller. Into the front court, Myers. Myers attacks the rack down low. Turnaround shot, tough one won't go. Rebound though, Miller hustles in after it. He's got the ball back out front to Phillips. Myers now goes to Evans. Good hustle down there by Aaron Miller to get this extra possession. He'll get the ball in the handoff from Evans. Looking for the little screen and roll action. Man, the man all over him is playing really good defense. That's uh, Nick Maynard, really tough on the defensive side. 5-4, Mustangs have the lead. Myers gonna try to attack, works it off to Evans. Evans between the circles, it goes to Miller. Thought about the deep three, now tries to throw it over the top of the big boy McMillan, and he just picks it out of the air. He'll turn and take it into the front court, two steps and a shot, no good, gets his own rebound, up under, no good, but foul, then he'll shoot two. McMillan just didn't mess around. He got the offensive rebound after missing the shot. He'll go to the free throw line, and that will be Miller's second foul. This squad from Minden Unity is kind of stretching this JV squad from Grigsville Perry out a little bit more than they've had happen before. McMillan with three points on the day already in the 5-4 ball game. Make it 6-4 as he makes the first. Does this kid not remind you of the Davis boy they had a couple of years ago? Yep, a little smaller build at this point, but he's a youngster. <coughs> I always said if I could have got to Klitz and Miller or Davis on a football team together, I think I'd have won some games. Second one's up good, too. McMillan now with five. Seven for the advantage for the Mustangs. Their largest lead of the contest is we're halfway home in this first quarter. Evans with it to Myers on the left wing. Free throw line, Miller attacks down there. Runner up, no good, blocked. Out of bounds, it'll stay with the Tornadoes. Nothing easy with those two long arm boys underneath. Here comes Phillips in. And also back into the game comes Kyle Waters. They'll replace uh, Roy Phillips that's down. Colby oh, Tate's back in, uh, My mistake. Yeah, that kind of look a little alike. Well, Phillips is a redhead, and Tate is definitely not. What's that got to do with anything with me? Oh, yeah, red-green colorblind. 
And last year, we thought like red, red, colored deaf, too. <laughs> Here's Evans on a drive. Puts up a shot, no good. A rebound on the play comes down to Caspery. Coach Ray helped me with that one. That's Caleb Caspery on the run out to McMillan. <clears throat> Fakes behind the arc. Looks for an opening down low. He'll throw it out between the circles to Caspery. 3.33 to play in the first quarter. Down in the corner. Here's a three by McMillan. And this kid's doing it all. He's going to have to... He'll be the sweeping. sidewalk he's doing yeah. so much here He'll today. He'll be sweeping the floor after this one. 10-4, good buddy. <coughs> and the Mustangs with the lead here. And that is a 9-0 run by Minden Unity. Here's a pass across the top to Evans. Goes in the corner to Miller. Miller holds the ball there. Takes a single dribble of it. Throws a pass. Dangerous one out front to Tate. But he's bumped and fouled by Ben McClellan. McClellan's going to pick up his first. Third team foul. Don't know if he's any relation to the old baseball pitcher. Ethan Boss into the game for the first time, and Cody Schaefer. Well, he was McClellan, I think, and this is McClellan. <laughs> so I'm going to guess no. It's my guess. You don't know that. For I, sure. I can't say for 100% they could be long lost cousins. Here's Myers on the drive. Kicks it out to Evans. Evans going to attack the rack. Now the dish out to Miller. Good luck, three ball too long. And the rebound down to Ben McClellan. To Schaefer, who brings it into the front court. Kind of threw it up for grabs and threw it a little too high for McMillan, who just wasn't looking for the ball yet. Turnover number four by the Mustangs. 2.43 to play in the first quarter. <coughs> clock, clock needs to start, and now they will. Work the ball down to Waters. Now on the wing, it goes to Miller's. Or Myers to Miller. Miller drives. He's bumping foul. Count the basket and one as he's fouled by... Ben, not Kyle, McClellan, McClellan. Miller gets it. He'll get the and one. McClellan will pick up the foul. That'll be his second. Team foul number four. Free throw up by Miller is good. He's got three. He's coming and provided a spark for this squad. I like it's hustle. It makes it 10 to 7. Correct. Here's a pass into the front court. Another Unity Mustang turnover. They're fit. Yeah, kind of an unforced turnover that time. Not sure exactly what happened there. Maybe the snow's gotten in here, made it slicker. Tell you what, there's an uncanny uh, <coughs> there's an eerie resemblance. Quietness. Well, there's a resemblance of, between Keenan Elliott and Keith Carruthers. Here's a three on the way, no good by I said Miller. that before the game. I okay. said from the back, you can't tell them apart. Into the front court with it is Schaefer. Leaves it off to Voss. Boss has picked up a dribble, needs some help on the baseline. McMillan, back out front, Schaefer gets a touch. Two minutes to play in the first. 10-7 is the advantage for Minden Unity. Now inside, they'll go to McClellan. He tries the reach around pass. It goes off of him out of bounds and a turnover on the Mustangs. They're sixth. Into the ball game, Carter Caspery back in. He'll sit down Schaefer on the other side. We'll see Eli White into the ball game and sitting down is Colby Tate. One minute, 49 seconds to play in the first quarter of this junior varsity contest. Tornado's trying to cut it even closer. Here's Miller, lob pass down low to White. White goes at it, blocked by McMillan. Rebound fought for. White on the floor after it, and he saves the possession. Wow, what a hustle play to Myers for three. No good. And this time we'll see a foul underneath. And I think this could be White on the foul, and it will be. Eli White's going to pick up the foul. He came in very aggressively. Six-team foul against GP, four against Minden Unity, and we've got a buck 29 left first quarter. He hustled his tail off to get that extra possession for his team. It's a, it's a battle out here. Cold outside, but it's hot inside this gym. It's really not, though. Kind of cold in here. Boss <laughs> with it on the right side. He will uh, throw it out between those circles. That's the McClellan. Down low, McMillan. McMillan, turnaround, baby hook is good. That's a good-looking shot. He's got 10. 10 of his team's 12, 12-7, with a minute six to play in the first on the Trash Queen scoreboard. Evans now tries to split a triple team with a dribble, saves it out somehow to Miller. Now to Myers. Myers on the dribble drive, up and over the top of McMillan. Rebound fought for, and coming out of there with it is Voss. Ethan Voss, the 5'9 freshman, throws a pass to Carter Caspery. Now to Caleb Caspery. Caleb Caspery, a single dribble. Between the circles, McMillan takes a single bounce of it, hands it off to Voss. 35 ticks to play in the opening quarter. He's now gotten tied up by Evans, heads up play, ties him up and forces the turnover. How about the other thing you probably told him that McMillan is a freshman. How yes. good was their eighth grade team last year? You know, pretty talented. 
31 seconds to play in the first. 12-7. Mustangs on top. And on the attack here is Grigsville Perry. Miller to Evans. They'll run a little stack set to uh, try to hold for a final shot. Miller gets it between the circles. Looks for an opening. He crosses back over to the left. Gets it to Evans. 10 seconds. Out between the circles it goes to Myers. Right side, Miller. Good look. Three ball. Good. Miller at the tray. Makes it 12-10. 2-1. Caspery three-quarter court shot up. They call them for traveling. So actually a turnover before the buzzer sounds. And that's the way the first quarter comes to a close. After one, it's Minden Unity 12, Grigsville Perry 10, and Junior Varsity Action on Central Illinois Sports. You can plan for most things in your life, but being sick isn't one of them. That's why Illini Express has expanded hours so your family can get the care you require. Open 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Illini Express can see patients 18 months and older, no appointment necessary. When you can't wait to feel better, Illini Express is here for you. Located on the square in Pittsfield. Learn more at IlliniHospital.org. Cole Best Systems Builders for all your insulation needs. We are a full service insulation contractor offering both open and closed cell spray foam, blown cellulose, and fiberglass installation. Best Systems has two BPI certified professionals ready to inspect your home or business today. You may qualify for incentives through the American Act on Energy program. Call Scott or Michael at 217-285-6005 for your free estimate or visit us online at GoBestSystems.com and start saving money on your energy bill today. Mending Unity with a 12-10 lead. We were tied at one. Uh, two lead changes in the ball game. Minden is four of eight, 50%, one of four from the arc. Four of five from the free throw line. Grigsville Perry, three of 13, 23%, one of six from the arc, and three for three from the free throw line. Minden Unity has the lead, the Mustangs, 12-10, and they'll have the basketballs. We start second quarter. JV action on the boys' side. And for the Mustangs, they'll have Schaefer, Carter Caspery, along with Voss, McMillan, and Koenig to start the second quarter. Schaefer with it. Long pass over the top to McMillan. He'll throw it top of the key now. Caspery fires the tray. No good. Rebound, though, to Schaefer. Down low, McMillan. Good spot to find him, and he'll put it in for two more. 12 for him already. That's a dozen, cousin. Makes it 14-10 Mustangs on the Trash Queen scoreboard. GP has Evans, Myers, White. Waters in the fifth man is Miller. Nice, fine, down low. Evans to Waters who puts it up, and that was a pretty pass. Waters was ready for it, too. 14-12, back down to a two-point game, and now traveling called on Schaefer in the backcourt. Eight turnovers on the Mustangs. 7-23 to play in the half. GP down by two, but on the attack here, wearing the maroon and white tonight. I don't know what the wind speed is outside, but inside it's about 15 mile an hour. The uh, air conditioning is on in here for <coughs> sure, and it's right above us, blowing my hair around. Both of them. White works it out front to Evans. He's going to look to break down his man. Now to Miller at the free throw line. Dribble drive in, little floater up. Good, tied at 14. That's pretty. This kid came to play. He's got eight. That Aaron Miller. We're tied at 14 points apiece. Into the, the front court, Schaefer, a little out of control, and he's going to be fouled from behind by one of the tour. Miller's going to pick up his third. Uh oh, that's not good. Seventh team foul. On the other side, four against Minden Unity. End of the game for Minden comes Nick Maynard. He'll set Casper down for a little bit. That's Carter. And what's the number on the young man shooting here? It's Schaefer. Schaefer is on the line, shooting for his first point of the night, and gets the shooter's roll. That's a kind rim. The Pike County Express is your local family-owned newspaper, serving Pike County since 1991. Check them out each Wednesday on a newsstand near you. You know what happened? The wind blew that ball back in. You think? I think so. Schaefer on the second one. Correction in and out. That probably is a better shot, and it wouldn't go in. Darn wind. Here come the Tornadoes into the front court. Evans coast to coast, won't fall. Rebound tipped and pulled in by McClellan. They've got 15-14 on the board. I had 15-12. I've right? got 15-14. Okay. Out front with it We're is tied Schaefer. 14. That was That's done. right. Now to Boss. They don't usually take two away unless they have a replay, which they don't here. Here's a turnaround shot by Koenig, and it's good. Wow, good shot by Koenig. If the other big boy involved, says Mendy Unity, and makes it 17-14 Mustangs. 
6.17 to play in the half. Free throw line with it is White. Hands around him. And now the ball tipped in out of bounds. It'll be a turnover on the Tornadoes. Four on Griggsville Perry now. Nine, or uh, let's see, eight on Minden Unity. Turnovers, that is. <coughs> Boss with the basketball against Miller, excuse me, Myers. Now the ball finds Maynard. He has the ball tipped, nearly stolen away. Boss runs it down, and he gets fouled by Rory Phillips. Phillips is going to pick up the foul. That'll be his second. Eight team foul. Free throw is for the Mustangs. Here comes another new man into the game, or back in, Colby Tate. He'll sit Phillips down. <coughs> Voss will be at the free throw line looking for his first points of the day. It's up, too long, and shooter, shooter violation, violation, so it wouldn't have counted anyway. He was in a little early. 5.55 to play second quarter. 17-14, the advantage for Minden Unity. Grigsville Perry with the basketball. Evans has it on the wing right side. They'll throw a little pass over the top to Myers. Three ball, good look, can't hit it. And the rebound pulled in by Koenig. Koenig, excuse me. To Maynard into the front court, down to Koenig. Shot blocked by White, White with the board. To Tate, Evans into the front court, Myers. Myers dribble drive in, gets to the rim, no good. His shot just won't fall right now for some reason. And McMillan grabs the board for the Mustangs. Quick pass into the front court to Maynard on the baseline. Voss with the shot, no good. Rebound again, Eli White. Then he has it just ripped right away from him by Maynard, who puts up a shot in the lane, no good. Rebound this time comes down to Voss, who can't get it to fall. He gets it again, puts it up, won't go. Fought for, and Myers comes out of there with it. He and Evans have a two-on-one into the front court. Bounce pass, Evans blocked out of there as getting up and blocking that one was Schaefer. Run down by Tate to Myers, 4.52 to play in the half. Still that 17-14 score. Evans' little iso look here against Maynard. Has picked it up and double dribbles, and we'll get a uh, break in the action here with 4.43 to play in the second quarter. 17-14, the advantage for Minden Unity on top of Kingswood <coughs> Perry as you watch high school boys basketball action on Central Illinois Sports. In a world that seems to be out of control, your friends at First Christian Church of Pittsfield, Illinois, want you to know that the hope of God's love reaches out to you. God loves you, and he has a purpose for your life. If you'd like to learn more about this, we invite you to join us at 8 a.m. or at 10.30 on Sunday mornings at 225 North Memorial Street in Pittsfield or online at fccpittsfield.org, our Facebook page, or our YouTube channel. First Christian Church of Pittsfield, Illinois, a safe place to learn and grow. Sharing a big family moment, working hard from home, relaxing with a friend. Welcome to life in the broadband age, where reliable internet has never been more important. Cascom keeps your family connected with consistent speeds up to one gig and Plume whole home adaptive Wi-Fi. Make sure your home's ready for life in the broadband age. Call our local service team or visit us online at cascom.com. 4.43 left and a half, 17-14 on the Trash Queen scoreboard in favor of the Mustangs of Minden Unity. John, you make sure you have a, a new buffing pad when you are buffing the head like that. Buff your bald head and you better have a new pad. Yeah, it, where it's starting to get worn down and that got hurt. This official, who does a really nice job, his head just shines. Keenan doesn't shine like that. Keese doesn't shine like that. The assistant coach on the other side doesn't shine. Just got the a, referee. You got a buff. Get the buffer. Here's Caspery with the balls. We're back to live action. Caspery looking to make something happen. He's close to five. Now Evans just takes it away. He says, you've held it long enough. Give me the ball. He'll take it into the front court on the run out. Evans with a runner. Won't fall. Foul. He'll shoot two. Logan forced the issue there. He's two for two from the free throw line. That's where his two points have come. And the foul. <coughs> well, they say one against Maynard. I'll trust him on that. First one up by Evans is too long. Damon Emmerich at Great Rivers Bank is here to help you with your auto, residential, and commercial loan needs. Call Damon, 217-285-4404. Evans makes the adjustment, makes the second. He's got three. And makes it a 17-15 score. 
with just over four minutes to play in this first half. The junior varsity game, varsity game will follow here tonight at Minden. Caspery works it to Maynard. He will pass it off near the sideline left side to Koenig. Down low ball, nearly stolen away again by Evans. A scrum after, that'll be a jump ball, and this will be another Mustang turnover. And Logan Evans has taken it away two times in a row. Double digits, 10. Voss back in the game. Caspery sits down. That's Caleb sitting down. Logan Evans looks like a kid that you put him at fullback in the uh, football backfield, and he can make some things happen. He has really become an aggressive young man on the court. I know that. He's got the basketball and the bounce pass to Myers. Myers with the dribble, kicks it out to White. Now to Evans on the right wing, 3.50 to play in the half. To White out top. Having to play without Miller, who's a cog in this team with three fouls. Well, yeah, you take Miller, you take both the Lipcomb boys out of the mix here, and all of a sudden, a lot of guys who do a lot of ball handling for you, some other people have to step up. Here's Myers for a three. He's just a hair off. Rebound with Eli White, though. Put back up, won't fall, and he'll shoot two shots. White's playing big today. Looking for his first points. Foul's going to go against Maynard. That'll be his third. He'll have to come out also. Now 16 fouls against Minden Unity, so we're in the bonus after this. Two foul or two free throws to be shot by Eli White, and the first one goes third. Real Net and Twine, they're located just north of Pittsfield, across from the airport. Your local headquarters for concrete, lawn, ornaments, statues, fountains, and so much more. Stop by and see them or call 285-5013 for Real Net and Twine. Jacob Brewer into the game for the first time. You know, Tracy Real's much older brother is refereeing in this game. Much older. Second one wouldn't fall for White. Rebound comes off to the Mustangs. 17-16 our score. Here's Voss. He tries to split a double team, and he gets... Bumped and fouled, and he'll shoot a one and one There's been some fouls tonight. That's going to go against Logan Evans. That'll be his second. Ninth team foul. Double bonus after this. Boss back to the free throw line. 0 for 1 so far. 5 of 8 are the Mustangs. Boss puts it in, and it's good. It rattles home. First point for him. So it's an 18-16 ball game now. Voss will get another. Up, in, out, back in again, and it fell through. It's a kind rim, I'm telling you. You might even be able to make one out of ten on that one. Nah. Into the front court, Evans with the basketball, right wing. He's got the man on him with both hands on him. He'll uh, draw a foul. Jacob Brewer had both arms on him, and he'll be whistled for his first. Evans is aggressive to the basket, is he not? Brewer's going to pick up the foul, his first. Seventh team foul, shooting foul. Evans to the free throw line, where he is two for three or three for four, I should say. Make him four for five as he puts that one through. Evans with his fourth point makes it a 19-17 game. He shot that so quick I didn't even see it. He doesn't three, take he doesn't take much time. Well, three fifteen left in the quarter, misses it. Rebound comes off to Kenny. Off the who? Koenig. Oh, thank you. I didn't know who that was, you said, for a moment. Kazoo height. Brewer. He'll work the ball out to McMillan. He's been quiet for a while. Now to Voss, and he takes a seat on the floor. Got the pass away in time, though. Pass to Brewer. Now to Cody Schaefer, 5'10 freshman. Off on the right wing, Jacob Brewer, 244 to play in the half. And a timeout going to be whistled for the Minden Unity Mustangs. 2.43 to play in the half. 19-17 the advantage for Minden Unity on top of Grigsville Perry. Back after this. Prairie Land FS is locally owned and operated. We proudly serve our neighbors like you with 24-hour service to ensure the comfort of you and your family. Prairie Land FS, your leading supplier of choice. Did you know that Prairie Land FS doesn't just sell seed? They treat it and box it right here at one of their local facilities, then deliver it to your farm or fields. Prairie Land FS, your leading supplier of choice. Trash Queen scoreboard sees a 1917 Minden lead, 243 left in the half. Trash Queen, 320-4320 for all your trash needs. Their business is picking up. Here's a uh, pass in, and Schaefer goes up with it. Makes it 
He's got three. Into the front court, Evans with the basketball off of the screen from Waters. Evans in the corner to Phillips. Out top, White. White patient with it. He'll put it on the dribble drive inside. Puts his head down. He gets to the rim and scores. Very aggressive to the, to the, the lane and nice job by White. 21-19. He's really playing with an extra boost today is Eli White. Pretty impressive basketball out there right now, even with all the fouls. Here's a drive in by Brewer. Works it out to Voss. Right side, McMillan. Holds it high above his head. Throws it down low to Voss. Shot put up is blocked. Rebound fought for. Still loose. Koenig's got it now. His turnaround shot on the high jump is good. He's got four. The kid does track. Makes it 23-19. He really rose off the floor pretty easily there. Here's Evans. He'll try the dribble drive in. Blocked. Rebound down Eli White. Put back won't fall. He's back to the stripe again. White knows what to do with it. He's going to be fouled on the play by Koenig. Eighth team foul, shooting foul. White to the free throw line. Too hard that time. He'll get another shot. By County Concrete has the concrete for your next job or project. No job too big or too small. For Pike County Concrete, 285-5548 with locations in Pittsfield and Jacksonville. Well, let's see what happens here. Second one up by White is good. He's got four points on the day now. And we've got a whistle. And what? Oh, it's got a necklace on. That's cute. 23-20. Not anymore. You know, the NBA, they let you play with all that stuff on now. I don't know why you'd want to. Didn't somebody grab you around that? You can also be number eight in the NBA, so a lot of things don't make sense. And he can take 12 steps. Here's Voss, just inside the arc. His shot is short. Good box out by Waters, but the rebound still comes down to Koenig. His putback's good, and he's fouled. Six, the and one. Foul by White. He'll pick up his second foul. Tenth team foul. It's an and one after the made basket. 25 to 20 is the score right now. Up and good by Koenig, and he looks pretty darn impressive, too. Yeah, I'd say if you're the Minden Mustangs, you got to like your way things are going for this program. They've got a nice uh, eighth grade team, too. Here's a three on the way by Myers, no good. Rebound pulled in by Jacob Brewer. He'll push it ahead into the front court to Koenig. He can't corral it, and the rebound, excuse me, the ball nearly stolen away, but Myers then couldn't grab it, and so no turnover. 109 left in the half. Still a uh, six-point Unity Mustang lead and the basketball now. Inbounds pass coming. It'll come out to Koenig. He'll fake. Now go back to his right. That's a pretty move there. He's got another two. What, eight on the day? Nine. Give it nine. 28-20. It's eight-point advantage now. Is the largest of the contest. Evans, bounce pass down to Waters. Uh-oh, took it down to his waist. Let the smaller man tie him up. And a turnover is the possession arrow favors. The Mustangs. Six turnovers now on the squad from GP. 50 seconds remaining in the half. 28-20 Mustangs looking to add to the advantage. Schaefer with it. Free throw line to McMillan, and he travels. Nope, jump ball. Either way, going to be a turnover. Turnover 11 on Minden. Possession goes the other way. Miller's, Miller's going to return. Yep, Miller's coming in with 43 seconds left. Do they think they'll be on the offensive side? Well, they know they will be, at least for this possession. 40 seconds to play in the half. Evans to Miller. So they run the stack set here. Looking to take a little time off the clock. Down by eight with 30 seconds remaining of the half. Now to Evans. Out near the Mustangs, which is written on the floor at the half court line. Two Myers between the circles with 18 seconds remaining. Now he's picked up the dribble, works down low to White. White trying to back his way in. Nothing going there to Myers with 11. Now 10 seconds left. He'll look to drive at Schaefer with six. Crosses back over. This is to Waters. Right side, Evans. Three, two, floater in the lane. Off the mark. And that's how the first half comes to an end. It's the Unity Mustangs, 28. The Greeks will parry Tornadoes, 20. We head to the Carnes Communication. U.S. Cellular Halftime Show. Halftime stats and analysis your way following this timeout. 
They say nothing in life is free. Well, we're here to tell you they're wrong. Because when you switch to U.S. Cellular, you can get the Samsung Galaxy S21 5G for free with no hidden requirements. That's right. The Samsung Galaxy S21 5G has launched and you can get it for free with no hidden requirements. U.S. Cellular. Terms and conditions apply. See store or uscellular.com for details. Cards Communications, your local U.S. Cellular agent on the corner of Jackson and Washington Street in Pittsfield. Call 285-5400 for Cards Communications. The Western Grain Service is your progressive feed and grain resource for Western Illinois. They offer a full range of feed products for all species and many grain merchandising opportunities with locations in Golden, Paloma, Mount Sterling, Clayton, La Prairie, Liberty, Industry, Carthage, and Blandonsville. For more information, call Dear Wester Grain Services, 696-4461. That's 696-4461 or on the web at DearWesterGrain.com. If your job situation is changing because of layoffs or restructuring, you may have to make several decisions. One important decision may be what to do with your retirement plan. Make sure your retirement stays on track. Derek Harris, your Edward Jones Financial Advisor, can help. Stop by the office at 1891 Main Street in Quincy, Illinois. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. Welcome to the city of Pittsfield, a great place to call home or a great place to visit as a home away from home. Visit the beautiful downtown area with the Pike County Courthouse and many businesses and restaurants to enjoy. Then check out the Pittsfield City Lake, a great place for boating, fishing, and camping. And new to the lake this year, a disc golf course. Learn more about all that the City of Pittsfield has to offer by visiting their website, pittsfieldil.org. The City of Pittsfield and Mayor John Hayden wish the Sockies good luck this season. Welcome back on the Cards Communication USA. We're pro or post <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's try it again. <laughs> Welcome back on the Carnes Communication U.S. Sailor Halftime Show hey. here on Central Illinois Sports. I'm Jack Hall, Charlie and John alongside, and it's halftime here. That's why we're playing the Halftime Show. Carnes Communications, your local U.S. Sailor location in Pittsfield, has phones and accessories with personalized service. Stop by the corner of Washington and Jackson in Pittsfield or call 285-5400 for Carnes Communications. It was a 12-10 game at the end of one quarter with Menden in the lead. They lead 28-20 here at halftime. Their, their biggest lead of the game is this eight-point bulge. They've turned it over 11 times, has Menden Unity. And on the other side, GP has turned it over seven times. Foul situation, two on Koenig, one on Brewer for Menden Unity, three on Nick Maynard, also two on Ben McClellan. And that's their foul situation. Three on Aaron Miller from Griggsville Perry. Two on Eli White. Two fouls on Logan Evans. Two fouls on Rory Phillips. And a single foul on Michael Myers. Halftime, it's 28 to 20. We'll have shooting percentages and individual scoring when we come back on the Carnes Communication U.S. Cellular Halftime Show. The city of Pittsfield, a great place to call home or a great place to visit as a home away from home. Visit the beautiful downtown area with the Pike County Courthouse and many businesses and restaurants to enjoy. Then check out the Pittsfield City Lake, a great place for boating, fishing, and camping. And new to the lake this year, a disc golf course. Learn more about all that the City of Pittsfield has to offer by visiting their website, pittsfieldil.org. The City of Pittsfield and Mayor John Hayden wish the Sockies good luck this season. Did you know that PCRE Real Estate and Auction now offers a full-service auction alternative? Farmland, residential real estate, commercial real estate, estates, guns, antiques, farm equipment, and commercial equipment are a few examples that the experienced auction team is ready to assist you with. Our team can make the auction experience less stressful and smooth. Check out our next auctions at our new auction location at 500 Piper Lane in Pittsfield or call 217-430-2985 and speak with Jason Duke to learn more. Financial investments are important, but so are the investments of the time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, and mentors. Derek Harris, your Edward Jones financial advisor, understands this. That's why Derek Harris is a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game on Central Illinois Sports. For all your investment needs, call Derek Harris at 217-222-7173 or stop by the office at 1891 Main Street, Quincy. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. Welcome 
Welcome to West Town Ford, serving Central and West Central Illinois. When you're shopping for a new vehicle, we believe you need a comfortable ambiance, dynamic selection of vehicles, competitive options for financing, and high-quality service to feel confident and stress-free throughout the car buying process. At West Town Ford, you will find just that, a great selection of Ford models and a team that will make the process as smooth as possible. West Town Ford Lincoln in Jacksonville, just 30 minutes away from high prices. The Farmers National Bank of Griggsville with locations in Griggsville, Mount Sterling, and Pittsfield. Maybe you ask, why choose Farmers National Bank of Griggsville? The answer is simple. Local people, local decisions, and local commitment with local investments. We have many products and services to meet your needs. We invite you to find out more about us. Go to fmbgriggsville.com and explore all the services we offer. Visit any of our three friendly locations in Mount Sterling, Griggsville, and Pittsfield today. The Farmers National Bank of Griggsville, local people helping local people, member FDI. I see. Welcome back on the Kearns Communication U.S. Cellular Halftime Show. It is a 28-20 advantage for the Men and Unity Mustangs on top of Grigsville Perry here at the halftime break of this junior varsity game. And Jack's got to look at some more halftime stats. I think we should. Melvin McMillan, the freshman, big boy in the middle, has got 12 points in the first half. Gavin Koenig with nine. Three for Cody Schaefer, two for Nick Maynard, and two for Ethan Voss. Nice balance scoring up and down the line. A lot of kids played. Both the Casper boys were in the game, too. And uh, we're thinking of their daddy and their family right now, too, because old Jay Bird, what a great guy he was. On the other side, we've got eight points for Aaron Miller, who's played with three fouls, four for Eli White, four for Logan Evans, two for Kyle Waters, and two for Michael Myers. And unusual for them, they've made one three-pointer in the first half. But a lot of pressure from the Minden Unity JV squad has made some of that happen. Carnes Communication is our U.S. Cellular halftime sponsor. Glad you've joined us today for this broadcast doubleheader. Stay tuned for more. Call your neighbors. Tell them the game's on Central Illinois Sports on YouTube. We'll be back after this break. Geared Up is your local source for custom apparel and awards. Geared Up offers a wide variety of apparel options, including embroidery, T-shirts, sweatshirts, polos. We do it all. Ask us how we can help you raise funds for your local school or organization. Find us online at www.wegearyouup.com or call 217-473-6290. That's 473-6290 for Geared Up Custom Apparel and Awards. Wish you had extra cash for a vacation, a boat, a new car, projects around the house, Free up more cash for the things you want by taking advantage of low interest rates. Refinance your home with Great Rivers Bank and keep more of your money by lowering your monthly payment. Start the process online at greatriversbank.bank and work with one of our experienced loan officers to get the lowest rate possible. Great Rivers Bank, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. It's time to be thinking about tax planning. You can count on Illinois FBFM for accounting, consulting, and tax preparation for farmers and businesses in Pike, Brown, and Adams County. Phone 217-593-7233. Illinois FBFM can take care of your farm accounting needs. Get your accounts in order for this tax season. Contact Bob Ray, Jesse Schutman, Triopian Kansas State grad Emily Carls, Nathan and new all-star accountant Madeline Hire. Illinois FBFM in Camp Point, working for you. Do you know Kate Marable from Hometown Real Estate? She's from my hometown. Whether you're buying or selling a home, you can trust Kate Marable for all your home needs. 217-370-9809. That's 370-9809. Or go to www.illinoishometown.com. That's Kate Marable from Hometown Real Estate. And you can trust her because... She's from my hometown. She's from my hometown. There's no debate. Call Kate at Hometown real estate today I didn't notice this big advertisement sign behind me of Neil Oil Company since 1953 uh, Jack we don't give up free ads sorry yeah. well, no I'm trying to get him as a, a, a sponsor 223 yeah. oh yeah. okay well yeah. Neil give me a call you think that's a, maybe a last name possibly spelled that way yeah, it is. Hey, Illinois, the big win today over Wisconsin. Always hate to see guards team lose. I was amazed that Illinois hadn't won since 2010 in Indiana. You'd have thought sometime during that time they'd have won. <clears throat> because Indiana's been bad. But they have now. 
And Illinois is looking good. And Michigan staying in first place because they got the Rona. Well, men in unity is going to have the basketball. They'll have, uh, let's see, Caspery, McMillan, Koenig, Schaefer, and the fifth man is Maynard. Up by eight and on the attack. McMillan with the basketball. Quick turnaround move, and it's good again. Hey, what? He knows where it goes in the ba in the basket. 14 for him. Coach Keith Carruthers was just up at halftime, and he said the thing we like about that kid is he loves it. He wants to work. He wants to get better. Looks like to me that kid's got a lot of upside. Here's a steal. Ball into the front court. Bounce pass from uh, Caspery is stripped away by Evans. That's pretty. He'll push it into Myers. Myers with the layup. It's up and good. I thought Myers was lobbing it for the dunk there for a minute, but he put it in instead. He's got four. Into the front court. Down low McMillan. Man goes up over the top of him and White. Shot no good, but fouled. And White will pick up another one. His third foul of the ball game. First team foul of the second half. 7-15 left third quarter just underway, 30-22. to 22, And Melvin McMillan has 14 points already. Make it 50. Moose Lodge 420, a proud supporter of many community organizations and activities. Hey, they have their coat rack, and it's going to be cold this week. If you need a coat, just stop by Moose Lodge 420. They're free, no questions asked. If you have one to give, leave one on the uh, rack as well. Missed it. Meyer with the rebound. Michael Myers. Out to Miller, 4-3, no good. A rebound to Schaefer for Minden Unity, the Mustangs. Into the front court, Carter Caspery with the dribble. Has picked it up, looks for an opening, finds his man in Schaefer. Now in the corner to McMillan. McMillan between the circles. That's to Maynard. Now on the left side, they get to Caspery. Double team comes his way out between the circles. It goes, and the ball tips stolen away. 13 turnovers. Evans with it into the front court. Tough bounce pass to Miller. Good job gathering. Shoots, misses. And the rebound down to Maynard. He'll push into the front court. Doesn't have numbers, but still is, drives right in. Shot no good. Rebound. Miller's got it for GP. He wants to push. One-on-one -on -one at Schaefer, and that's an offensive foul. Nice job by Schaefer to hustle back and establish himself. And Miller will draw his fourth foul. Yep, four fouls on Miller now. He's a nice player, and he's going to sit down. Second team foul into the ball game comes Rory Phillips. Miller having a rough one here. You'll see action in the varsity game too. Pass in the backcourt to Schaefer. He'll work it across. Tough pass to Koenig. And he threw a leg at his ankles, and that's a tough one for that big boy to try to get over and get. 14 turnovers on Menden's JV squad. Nine on Griggsville Perry, 31-22. We've got a timeout on the court. 6.09 left third quarter, 31-22. Menden with the lead on the Tri-Screen scoreboard. Pressures on you would like to thank everyone in our community for your support in the past 15 years. We have over 1,400 square foot of retail space with spirit wear for Unity Mustangs, Liberty Eagles, Brown County Hornets, and our hometown Central Panthers. Businesses, let us help you promote your brand. Decoration methods we offer include screen printing, embroidery, and laser engraving. We are excited to now offer lasered hat patches. With limitations on attendance to local sporting events, we are excited to help bring you this game. Pressures on you. 506 Westwood, Camp Point, Illinois. Welcome back, 31-22, as I told you before we took the break. GP trailing by nine. They've got the basketball after the timeout. Let's get it back to live action. Just a little over six minutes left, third quarter. Myers with the shot, and there he gets it to go down. And that's all it takes for a kid like that is to see one go in, and maybe he can get back and uh, into the usual scoring that he has. Casper into the front court. He'll throw a pass out to McMillan, skips it across. Maynard down low. Koenig who lays it up and in for two. Not sure how he got that pass in there, but he did, and 11 points now for Koenig. Threaded the needle and the lead back out to nine. 5.35 to play in this third quarter. Evans on the dribble drive, left-handed layup no good, foul. He'll shoot two shots. Evans to the free throw line. And who did we get? Boss on that? No, McMillan. McMillan picked up his first. Evans makes the first. 
He'll get another. Ty Rylander run and walk. It's a virtual event this year. You need to get registered, though, before February 20th. Check out the Ty Rylander run on Facebook for registration information. Evans with six points, all from the free throw line. 33-26. Here's a steal now as Eli White gets into the passing lane. To Evans, into the front court, down low. Myers, shot up, foul, he'll shoot two. Defensive pressure is picked up after the timeout. That's what they were trying to make happen. And Schaefer will pick up the foul. It'll be his first. Myers to the free throw line, first one up, good. Michael Myers with seven now. His shot was just a hair off in the first step. You can tell he's made a little adjustment, maybe more of a little flick of the wrist. Second one won't fall. Ball comes off of Grigsville Perry, and it'll be Minden Ball. 33-27, the lead for the Mustangs is six. Full court pressure by GP. Caspery with the basketball. Still in the backcourt, finds... Maynard across the time stripe. Schaefer drives in Eurostep and the call to travel. More than just your normal Eurostep. Usually you have to have a little square on the sidewalk and some rocks so you can play hopscotch because that's what he played there. Turnover number 16. Myers with the basketball out top to Evans. Evans will dish it back to Myers off of the screen. Couldn't get free for a three. They're playing a little two man game. Now Myers will catch and fire a three. It's off the mark. Rebound pulled in by Caspery. Pushes it ahead into the front court. Caspery with it now to Maynard. Skips it over to Schaefer on the left side. Down low, the big boy, Koenig, another two. He's got 13 now. 35-27. The lead for the Mustangs. I mean, we talked about in the pregame, those two kids are going to be tough for Griggsville Perry to match up with. And McMillan and Koenig have proven us right. Especially when you're not hitting the three. Yeah, that really hurts. One of 11. Here's a drive by Myers, no good. A rebound saved in by McMillan into the hands of his teammate, Schaefer. To Caspery, back out front, Schaefer with it. 4-11 to play in the third. 35-27 Mustangs on the Trash Queen scoreboard. Koenig, turnaround shot over Waters, no good. Foul, and he'll shoot two. Subs into the game. Voss comes in for the Mustangs. On the other side, Tate into the game. And we'll get the mask timeout here. 4.06 to play in the third. 35-27 advantage for Minden Unity in this junior varsity game. We're back after this. Real Estate and Auction is your number one resource for buying or selling real estate in West Central Illinois. With two office locations, one in Pike County and the other in Calhoun County, PCRE Real Estate and Auction is the place to go when you're looking to buy or sell farmland, recreational and hunting land, residential or commercial property. See our current listings at PCRERealEstate.com or call us at 217-285-5800 for PCRE Real Estate and Auction. Cole Best Systems Builders for all your insulation needs. We are a full service insulation contractor offering both open and closed cell spray foam, blown cellulose, and fiberglass installation. Best Systems has two BPI certified professionals ready to inspect your home or business today. You may qualify for incentives through the American Act on Energy program. Call Scott or Michael at 217-285-6005 for your free estimate or visit us online at gobestsystems.com and start saving money on your energy bill today. 406 left third quarter, 35-27, Minden Unity with the lead. I'll tell you, the uh, Grigsville Perry squad, they just worked, worked, worked and got it back to where it looked like it was manageable. Minden Unity just broke it back out, eight point lead here. And one thing I see about this young Minden Unity squad, they really see the floor well and they know how to hit those seams on the passes. And then they're two big boys, they're not afraid to just turn around and take it right to the hole. Sometimes they get fouled, and when they do, they go to the free throw line like Koenig is now. He's got 13 points, one for one from the free throw line. Up and good. The two big boys make their free throws. Trash Queen serving Pike, Adams, Scott, and Morgan counties with the residential, commercial, and roll-off dumpster services. They offer 10-yard, 15-yard, 20-yard roll-off containers. Call 320-4320 for Trash Queen. Phillips got the rebound on the missed free throw. Should be 36-27, correct? Mm -hmm. That is correct. On the Trash Queen scoreboard with 3.55 to play in the third. Out front, Myers works it to Evans. They're going to need to hit some of those threes. Now down low, White gets a touch, missed the shot, and McMillan grabs the board. Have to be a little intimidated with McMillan there on you. I thought White went right at him, though. Yeah, kind of came up short, though. 
Here's a pass to Voss just inside the arc. His shot's too hard. Rebound, though, by Maynard. He'll put it back up and in. Maynard kind of reminds me of the Blickhand boy and the younger version of him when he was in the early years. You said the Davis boy reminded you of this McCullum boy. Who knows? Maybe there's good things coming in the future for Keith Carruthers' squad. And here's an illegal screen by Eli White. That'll be a turnover and his, what, fourth foul? Fourth at least, I think. He'll sit down as Miller is in. Yep, four for him. Miller's playing with four fouls. Or just three, I guess. 3.15 to play in the third. 38-27 advantage for Minden Unity. And now Boss travels. 17th turnover on Minden Unity, and they still have an 11-point lead. That's amazing. You turn it over that much, and you still got a lead like that, and it's not like you're shooting lights out. I mean, they're... 14 for 28 right now from the field, one for five from the arc. 10 of 18 from the free throw line. Evans, Myers, now Miller. Gives it off to Evans. Evans on the dribble drive, up under move. Shot in the left hand, no good. Rebound Maynard. He'll push it ahead for Schaefer. Long bounce pass is tipped out of bounds, and it will be Riggsville Perry basketball. That's a turnover, right? It is. 18. Two minutes, 50 seconds remaining in the third quarter. An 11-point lead for Minden Unity. GP on the attack. Myers going to shoot it just inside the arc. It's off the mark. Rebound pulled in by Voss. He's to got Schaefer. four boards on the night. Schaefer will work the pass right side to Maynard. Down low to McClellan. Off to a three by Schaefer. No good. Rebound Evans. Sneaking back was Miller. He'll try the, uh, well, he's got thought he was going to pull up for a three. Now the Phillips to Myers. Over on the left wing, Evans gets a touch. Off to Rory Phillips. He'll work it around the perimeter to Colby Tate. Tate looks for a man to pop open. That's going to be Myers. Myers off the Tate screen, and he's bumped and fouled by Koenig. Koenig will pick up his third foul. Just the third foul of the second half on his team. And it'll be ball out of bounds, GP. Here comes Caleb Casper into the game. And along with that, Melvin McClellan back in, and Koenig sits down. Out of bounds for the Tornadoes. Over on the right wing is Miller. He'll pass the ball out between the circles to Evans. Now Myers kicks to the corner, and Phillips shot fake and a drive. Back behind the arc to Miller. Miller on the dribble. Try to get Myers, who couldn't get a good catch on that. I wonder if he would have fired away from three. Now Myers gets the ball knocked away a couple of times to Miller from just inside the volleyball line, and it's good. Aaron Miller with a deep three that time. And He's makes 11. it 38-30. GP not going away yet. Boss with it on the drive. Leaves it down low. Ball tipped, and Rory Phillips steals it away. Into the front court, Miller on the runner. His shot is up, and it's good, and he's fouled by Maynard. And Maynard, one. Maynard turned his back on him, but that'll get you a foul every time. He's got his fourth now. Team foul number four, and one for Miller, who now has 13. He's one for one from the free throw line. Six of 15 is GP. That hadn't been good. 38-32. Cut it to five with this. Won't fall. Phillips tried to keep it alive, and he did to Miller. How about that? That's actually Tate, and now the ball tipped and stolen away. McMillan into the front court. This ball tipped from behind. It's run down, though, by McClellan. DeVos, McMillan, now Schaefer. 114 remaining in the third. Right side, McMillan, and he's fouled by Tate. Tate will pick up the foul. He couldn't hear his coach. He was on this end. He said, don't foul. 38-32, 109 left third quarter. Oh, wait, you were serious about that? 109 to play in the third. Inbounds comes out. Miller tips it into the bleachers. He would go get it, but he can't get within 12 feet of that man. 30. 30, 12. The only way those people could be 30 foot away is if they were hanging from the top of the rafters. <laughs> I don't think that counts. I think you're right. Well... Logan Evans is going to pick up a foul here. He hadn't fouled in a while, so he thought, you know, it's about my turn. Sixteen foul. One and one after this. 107 left third quarter. This is a big possession to see where this game's going to go. 
That's a held ball. Roy Phillips ties the man up, and it's going to be a turnover. 20 turnovers on Minden now. Phillips and Tate both doing a good job. Yeah, 20 turnovers eventually it's going to catch up with you, doesn't it? So is the Tate boy a Valley City boy? Of the Valley City Tates. He so does. Yeah, here's a three on the way by Miller. And uh, shot no good goes out of bounds on the rebound. He tried to save it in. You ever hear voices in your head? <laughs> no, I keep forgetting. People can't hear John, can they? Yeah, we have his mic muted. Yeah, turn him off. <laughs> Here's a pass. Voss gets it on the runner, and he goes in up. That's goes pretty. up and in for two. He's got four. I'm just sitting there talking to myself. <laughs> and John loves it. 40-32. Well, John's here, and I'm going to put words in his mouth one of these days. And what I like is you can't hear him. Now, if I just couldn't hear him, it would be even better. Here's a steal. Casperi, nope, he didn't get it. Myers got it back. Now to Evans. Now the ball poked free. Casper's on the floor after it. He rolls over with it, but gets the timeout called. 19.3 seconds to play in the third. 40-32 advantage for the squad from Menden Unity. And we're back after this. Gary Mendenhall is ready to serve you as the next mayor of Pittsfield. I'm Gary Mendenhall. I am confident that our beautiful city has our best days ahead of us. I am determined to make this community safe and prosperous with potential for future growth. I intend to address the issues that we are currently facing, as well as develop a promising vision for our future. On April 6, vote Gary Mendenhall for Mayor of Pittsfield. You know, Doug Elledge and I graduated from high school at the same time. He's in a lot better shape than you are. He is, but he's got a lot more gray hair than I do, too. You know that? A lot more. You know why? He has two... He has two daughters, that's why. 40-32, Minden Unity with the lead. 19.3 seconds left in the third quarter. Minden's got the basketball. Inbounds pass, coming. Boss gets it into Schaefer near the sideline. Right side now to Caspery. 14 seconds left. Now down to 10 on the baseline. McMillan from 15, good. 42-32, five seconds left. Myers has it with two, pulls up just inside the volleyball line, missed the shot, and that's how the third quarter comes to an end. 42-32, advantage for Minden Unity on top of Greg Perry in Junior Varsity Action on Central Illinois Sports. With all the financial headlines, are you wondering if your retirement savings will last? The market's ups and downs can keep you guessing, especially if you're approaching retirement or considering it. Your Edward Jones financial advisor, Derek Harris, can help. If you have more questions than answers about what's next, you can work together to help ensure you're prepared for your journey. After all, retirement isn't the end of the trek, it's the new beginning. Stop by the office at 1891 Main Street, Quincy. Edward Jones, making sense of investments, member SIPC. It's time for you to find out the difference that thousands have found with Westtown Ford in Jacksonville. If you're looking for a new Ford, Lincoln, or maybe a used car truck or SUV, why don't you take the short drive to Jacksonville, Illinois, to Westtown Ford. They have the best sales and service in the area, and what a selection, thousands to choose from. It's Westtown Ford in Jacksonville, 30 minutes from high prices. Phone 217-245-7101 or go to westtownford.com. Kenny Elliott's squad needs to make up a 10-point deficit here. 42-32 Minden Unity. Minden 16 to 31-51.6%. 1 of 6 from the arc, 17%. 10 of 18 from the free throw line. Grigsville Perry, 11 of 35, 31%, 2 of 13 from the arc, 15%, and 6 of 16 from the free throw line, 37%. That one hurts. Yep. Especially when you're down by 10, you've missed 10 free throws. You don't expect to make them all, but you'd like to make more than that. Here's a steal. Evans gets the ball to Miller. Miller on the run out, up and off the window, missed the shot, tips it back up, no good, but he's fouled, and he'll shoot two shots. Miller will go to the free throw line to shoot a pair. And Voss is going to pick up the foul. 15 foul, I do believe. Miller to the free throw line to shoot two. He has 13 on the night. First one too long. Well, there's Universe. They're open until midnight tonight. Go out and try the burgers and fries, the specialty pizza, the craft beer pizza, and more. They've got open bowling today at Bowler's Universe in Pittsfield. Miller couldn't get either one to fall, and the rebound comes off to Schaefer. Six of 18 from the free throw line. Ouch. 
Into the front court, Voss with the basketball. He'll work it out to Schaefer. Now back to Voss. Voss patient with it there. 7.33 to play in the fourth. Here's a ball. Miller tried to steal it away. It was run down, though, by Caspery. Works it to Voss. Travels. 22 turnovers. 7.25 to play. 10-point lead for Minden Unity. Basketball for Grigsville Perry. They need to make some threes. Miller with it. Out to Phillips on the right side. Evans. Finds White. White on the drive. Runner up. No good. Foul. To the free throw line. Voss going to pick up another foul. Be second. Poor kid can't catch a break right now. 16 fouls. So that floor is hard. And is this Eli White to the free throw line? He's had struggles from there today, but he'll keep trying. Lipcomb and Seed Sales, your Pioneer Seed Dealers, Aaron and Brett. And Evan, you can give them all a call, 217-430-4510 or 242-2703. White makes another. He's got five on the day now. 42-33 with 7.07 left in this one on the Trash Queen scoreboard. And here's another Mustangs turnover. 23. And still leading by nine. That's crazy. They have crept up over 50% shooting now, though. Phillips with it right side. Finds White on the cut, down low in the lane, missed the shot. Rebound pulled in by Schaefer. He'll throw the bounce pass to Caspery off the window and in for two. Carter Caspery. Check that's Caleb Caspery, excuse me. He'll put it up and in. Makes it an 11 point lead. Here's Myers, tries to drive, runner up, won't fall. Rebound down to Edmonds, tried to bring it down, and it got stolen away. McMillan took it away from him when he took it down to the floor. Schaefer now has picked it up just across, across the half-court line. Over on the right wing to Caspery. Out front, Schaefer fakes in dribble drives to McMillan. He'll fire a three. It's short. Rebound, though, a hustling. Voss gets it. He'll put up a turnaround shot. No good. But a foul whistled here on the rebound, I believe. That'll go against Myers. That'll be his second. Team foul number seven. One and one bonus situation both ways now. I thought maybe Voss might have got by with steps underneath there in the collision. That's really odd. I just heard referee Doug Elwood say maroon 10. Usually they just they call it red for some reason. He coached there for a while, so what can we say? Where hadn't he coached? Huh? Did he ever coach at Minton? No, he coached at uh, Greensville Perry. Greensville Perry. I know. I was trying to think of the places he did coach. He's been everywhere, man. He's been, he coached at Carthage. He coached at uh, Plymouth. McClellan made it. 19. I could do this more. McMillan. McMillan. And uh, he coached at Augusta, I believe. I may have all of them now. <laughs> Here's Miller going to try a three to shoot his team back into this one. It's good. And a timeout by GP. 46-36. Six. Tornado's down by 10. 5.58 to play in this one. Back after this timeout. Plumbing, serving all of Pike County and the surrounding area with quality residential and commercial plumbing services. Damon Plumbing offers septic installation, drain cleaning, new water lines, remodel work for your home, or if you're planning a new build, make sure you include the Damon guys to get it right the first time. No job too big. Have you seen Braden and Doug? Or too small? Sorry, Corby, we couldn't resist. Call Braden today at 217-491-5415 or Doug at 217-617-2318. Damon Plumbing, Recommended by our family for your family. 46 36, 558 left in the contest, 10 point game. And Menden's got the basketball. I'm not sure. Can you come in at that point? Sure can. I didn't think so. I think you got to be there in the first half of the timeout. First 15 seconds. That's why they have the first horn, second horn thing. Right? No, the first horn usually goes off 10 seconds difference, I think. Tomato potato, Jack. Five fifty to you play came in this up one. That one Why do they call it a thirty-second timeout if you only get twenty seconds? Oh, that's just the warning. Turnaround shot, McMillan, another two. And 
McMillan and wife. That used to be a TV show. He's got 21. Speaking of warnings, the whole area better be on warning because that kid's coming. Miller, deep three, good again. He's heating up. They're going to have to get some stops to the other end are the Tornadoes. 5.18 to play. Or hope Minden Unity misses a bunch of free throws because they could shoot some. Here's a travel. That'll help. As McClellan called for the travel. 24 turnovers. Koenig into the game. He'll sit McClellan down. Also, Voss sits down. 5-10 to play. 48-39, advantage four. Minden Unity, Miller with the ball. He needs some help. Backdoor cut, good one by Evans. Down low, runner up, good. Good instinct by Logan Evans. His man was in trouble. He said, I'll cut to the basket. Here's Caspery with the ball into the front court. Works it on the right side. Pass goes down low, knocked out of bounds by Miller. It'll stay with the Mustangs underneath. Menden wants a timeout. 4.49 left in this one, 48-41. Menden with the lead over GP back after this. In the charming town of Pittsfield, Illinois, awaits a dining experience sure to impress. Nucci's Restaurant, specializing in Italian cuisine, succulent steaks, seafood, pasta, burgers, sandwiches, and scrumptious desserts all made to order. Mouth-watering and high-quality dishes at affordable prices. Nucci's is the perfect setting for a dinner date or a family meal. It's more than dining, it's an experience. Check out Facebook for live entertainment. Once you experience Nucci's, it will become a favorite destination. They say nothing in life is free. Well, we're here to tell you they're wrong. Because when you switch to U.S. Cellular, you can get the Samsung Galaxy S21 5G for free with no hidden requirements. That's right. The Samsung Galaxy S21 5G has launched and you can get it for free with no hidden requirements. U.S. Cellular. Terms and conditions apply. See store or uscellular.com for details. Cards Communications, your local U.S. Cellular agent on the corner of Jackson and Washington Street in Pittsfield. Call 285-5400 for Cards Communications. 449 left in this one, 48-41. We'll have the trivia question answer on all the places Doug Elledge coached after the game. Live interview. Inbounds pass. Rory Phillips knocks it away. Rory kind of got pushed away from that one, too. Inbounds pass. Comes in out front to McMillan. He'll throw it across the top to Schaefer. 443 to play. Now on the right side, it goes to Maynard. He is into a double team, needs some help. Needs some help. He is tied up, and it'll be Drinksville Perry basketball. It's not more than a five second than a tie up. Call it a held possession. Yeah, I don't think it ever stopped. Hey, it'll work either they way. They called it a held possession, and that is what we were going with. Next thing you know, we'll be playing seven minute quarters. Here's a skip pass to Miller, and he's fouled by Maynard. Maynard, I think, is going to foul out. He's the first man to foul out of this game. They'll bring Casper in. Carter Casper. And one and one for Miller. For GP, they need to make some free throws. Six of 20. Of 21. Ouch, ouch, ouch. 4.15 left. Down by 7. And what did you say it was? 6 of 21? Yep. Ouch. I mean, if you could just shoot 50%, you'd be in this one. Here's a steal by Miller. Miller steal. Layup is no good. He's fouled. He'll shoot to a Schaefer commits the foul. Schaefer says, I'm not giving him the easy bucket because I know they're 6 of 21. Miller's had a tough time with the free throw line. But he's got 19 points. Make it 20. There he gets it to go through. 48, 42. Menden Unity with the lead. Casper sits down. His brother comes in. Carter out. Caleb in. Second one up by Miller. Also good. Five point game. I said something about him not shooting good free throws, and he shut me up right now. Halfway through this fourth quarter, 48 43 advantage for the Mustangs of Minden Unity. McMillan hands it to Schaefer near the sideline right side. Long skip pass goes over to Caspery. 
Free throw line McMillan. Gets to the rim and scores. He's got 23. 50-43. No answer for him. Miller out to Evans. Now to Myers. He'll try the dribble drive. Kick it to Miller. Deep. Three. In and out. No good. Rebound. Put back. Eli White is good. He's got seven. 50-45. 3.25 remaining on the Trash Queen scoreboard. Here's a turnover by the Mustangs. Too high for Voss and turned it over. 27 turnovers. Free throws for GP haven't been good. Turnovers for Menden haven't been good. You wonder, I've got 40 spots on my page to keep turnovers because of experience. Out front with it is White to Phillips on the wing. He liked for some help. Now he throws a pass. It's tip. It will go out of bounds. Phillips just kind of used his body to keep the man away from being able to get that one away. 309 remaining. 50-45 advantage for the Mustangs, GP on the attack. Here's a pass right side, stolen away by Koenig. Koenig on the run out into the front court, off the left-hand shot and good. He got pressure, but he was still able to complete the deal. 16 for him now. 52-45, Mustangs. 2.50 left. Here's Miller with the ball. Tries the dribble drive in. Leaves it to Myers, a tough shot on the fadeaway, no good. Rebound to Schaefer. To Caspery. He'll drive into the front court, find Voss. Voss in the lane, shot out of bounds, and they'll say it was last touch by the Mustangs. Yep, Coney kind of got a hand on that one. Seven point game, a three would get you within four, 225 left. Trice Queen scoreboard. With it is Evans off of the screen from Phillips to Myers on the right side. They're looking for Miller. He and Schaefer battling it out there. Miller to Phillips, top of the key. Now to Myers, 2-10 to play. Dribble drive in, now in some trouble. Bounce pass off of Austin, out of bounds. On the sideline here for the Tornadoes. Evan saw Voss coming, so he just kind of laid it at his knees and he kicked it out. Miller with the basketball. On the bounce with two minutes to play. And here's what we have. Voss is going to be called for the foul. 18 fouls, maybe nine. Evans will go to the free throw line. Seven of 23. Oh, what could have been if you had made those? Could have had a big lead. Logan puts it up. It's too long. Rebound down to Schaefer. 152 remaining. Here's a pass stolen away. Myers with the steal. He's on the run out into the front court. Fouled by Schaefer, and Myers will shoot too. Schaefer picks up his third. Tenth team foul. Double bonus either way. Seven to 24 now. Myers is going to make him. He's one for one from there. Puts first one in, and it's good. He's got eight. Next one up, also good. He's got nine, one away from double figures. 52-47 on the Trash Queen scoreboard. Into the front court with it comes Schaefer. Shovels it ahead for Voss. Voss will throw it top of the key, McMillan, who hands it off to Schaefer. Pass comes to Caspery, splits a double team. Down low, Koenig up, shot no good. Rebound fought for, and Koenig's over the back. Koenig called, he was kind of disgusted with himself, missing the layup, picks up his fourth foul. Double bonus situation. They got 11 on the board now. They're going to keep counting them. White will be the shooter. He'll shoot two. I've seen people do that before. They get like 18 or 19 up there. You know what happens next. Somebody from the stands yells, look at that. It's 18 to four. <laughs> Foul. She quit fouling so much. <laughs> First one is up and good by White. He's These got eight. These are big free throws. 10 of 27 now. Second one up, also good. Down to a three-point game, 52-49. One twenty-seven to play. You know, we had an overtime game in the uh, junior high game we did earlier. Ooh, that was close. Caspery to Boss. Miller pressuring him. Now to Caspery, One thirteen remaining. They'll have to get up and pressure here, will GP. 
And that's what's going to happen. Myers with the steal. Layup at the other end is good, and he's fouled. He's got a chance to tie this thing up with 106 to play. Unbelievable. 52-51. With 106 left, Myers on the steal on the 29th turnover against Minden Unity, who led by a ton. Up, oh, good, tied at 52. 114 and now at 52. Wow, oh wow, the Trash Queen scoreboard. Now the Tornado's looking for another stop and a lead. One a minute to play in this fourth quarter. Might we have overtime again? If we do, it's Charlie's fault. Right side, Voss. Throws the long skip pass to Schaefer. Now to McMillan, he's been the money man. Turnaround shot too hard. Rebound to Evans for the Tornadoes. Off to Miller. He will slow it down. He didn't have numbers. That's a smart choice. Now to Evans. 39 seconds left. He's fouled by Voss. He's fouled with 36.2 seconds left, and he'll shoot two. Double bonus situation. Voss picks up his fourth. 52-52. We've had two lead changes and looking for our next one. Got it right there as Evans puts it through. He's got nine. Here he comes again. 53-52. There's the lead change. Second one also good. They're not being able to make a free throw. Now they can't miss. 32 seconds remaining. 54-52 GP. McMillan with it out front. No attack. Ball was kicked away. Run down by Caspery. Ball knocked loose again on the floor. Phillips after it. And he got it. He got it in a timeout call. Rory Phillips on the floor after the possession. He gets it for his squad. And with 20.7 seconds left, GP will have the ball length of the court to go up by two. When we come back. Since 1962, right. Logan Ag has provided customers but, with quality but, products, competitive but, prices, and... But what about the new locations, Grampy? What new locations? Well, boys, Logan Ag now has locations in Winchester, Illinois, and in LaBelle, Missouri. So now there are four? I'll be four this year. Logan Ag, serving customers in Griggsville and Winchester, Illinois, Paris, and LaBelle, Missouri. Our vision for agriculture is 2020. Twenty point seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. Fifty four fifty two the advantage for Griggsville Perry. How many points did they trail by at one point, Jack? Well, thirty to twenty at one time, thirty eight to twenty seven, eleven point deficit. And now they lead by two and have the ball with twenty point yeah. seven seconds left. 40, 44 33 uh, was the the longest time ago the deficit. Now they're up. So it was 44 to 33. So a 20, 21 to 8 run. Both teams with uh, plenty of timeouts. Three on the Minden side, two on the Griggsville Perry side. Full court pressure by Minden Unity. Oh, Evans. Oh, how about I say? Nobody's guarding Evans out here. He can just break deep. Myers to inbound it. Deep in the backcourt. He'll get it into Evans. GP does not have to be in. Any kind of hurry. Who's guarding him? That's Boss will come up and guard him with 13 seconds left. Boss has four fouls. Now it goes to Myers. That's the guy they'd like to have if they're going to foul him, and Myers is fouled with 8.1 seconds left. Schaefer will pick up his fourth. Double bonus. Myers to the free throw line. 15 of 30 for GP. Oh, no, they said he fouled out. My mistake. So Schaefer fouls out. Second guy to foul yep, out this second one, right? Guy. Yeah, Maynard filled out, uh, fouled out, and Schaefer fouled out. Myers with a chance to make this a three, maybe a four-point game, and makes the first. Told you he's money. He's and made four out of four free throws, has 13 points. The Mustangs want a timeout. We'll pause as well. 8.1 seconds left. GP's up three. Back after this. In a world that seems to be out of control, your friends at First Christian Church of Pittsfield, Illinois, want you to know that the hope of God's love reaches out to you. God loves you, and he has a purpose for your life you'd like to learn more about this, we invite you to join us at 8 a.m. or at 10.30 on Sunday mornings at 225 North Memorial Street in Pittsfield or online at fccpittsfield.org, our Facebook page, or our YouTube channel. First Christian Church of Pittsfield, Illinois, a safe place to learn and grow. 8.1 seconds left, 55-52, with a free throw left for Michael Myers. 
Myers has had a tough night shooting the three, but you know, he never dropped his chin. He never dropped his head. Now he's up to 13 points, could have 14 with this one. Miller on the night with 21. 10 points for Logan Evans, who's played his butt off out there, I'm telling you. And Myers could make this a two possession ball game if he can make this free throw. It's a big one. Big one. 8.1 seconds left, free throw. It's good. Hey, four point game, biggest lead of the night for GP. Voss gets it to Caspery. Six seconds left. Got to go. Off to Voss. Voss will fake. He'll shoot a three. It is good. And I don't know that they got a timeout in time. I don't believe they did. He shot a three. It was good. And the final on this one is a 56-55 win for the Griggsville Perry Tornadoes. In comeback fashion, they win this one over the Minden Unity Mustangs. In JV action, we'll pause for a timeout. We'll come back with the Illini Community Hospital post-game show after this. You can plan for most things in your life, but being sick isn't one of them. That's why Illini Express has expanded hours so your family can get the care you require. Open 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Illini Express can see patients 18 months and older, no appointment necessary. When you can't wait to feel better, Illini Express is here for you. Located on the square in Pittsfield. Learn more at IlliniHospital.org. They say nothing in life is free. Well, we're here to tell you they're wrong. Because when you switch to U.S. Cellular, you can get the Samsung Galaxy S21 5G for free with no hidden requirements. That's right. The Samsung Galaxy S21 5G has launched and you can get it for free with no hidden requirements. U.S. Cellular. Terms and conditions apply. See store at uscellular.com for details. Cards Communications, your local U.S. Cellular agent on the corner of Jackson and Washington Street in Pittsfield. Call 285-5400 for Cards Communications. If your job situation is changing because of layoffs or restructuring, you may have to make several decisions. One important decision may be what to do with your retirement plan. Make sure your retirement stays on track. Derek Harris, your Edward Jones Financial Advisor, can help. Stop by the office at 1891 Main Street in Quincy, Illinois. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. Cole Best Systems Builders for all your insulation needs. We are a full service insulation contractor offering both open and closed cell spray foam, blown cellulose, and fiberglass installation. Best Systems has two BPI certified professionals ready to inspect your home or business today. You may qualify for incentives through the American Act on Energy program. Call Scott or Michael at 217 285 6005 for your free estimate or visit us online at gobestsystems.com and start saving money on your energy bill today. Well, we're back here to wrap things up on the post-game show, the Illini Community Hospital post-game show. They've been serving the community since 1942 with excellent health care services, Illini Community Hospital for primary and specialty care to emergency medicine. Illini here to serve you and your family. Learn more about their services at IlliniHospital.org. It was 12-10 Minden after 1, 28-20 after 2, 42-32 after 3, but GP gets the win 56 to 55 in this one and come from behind fashion as Charlie told you. GP was 16 of 45 for 36 percent. 4 of 16 from the arc, 25 percent. 16 of 32 from the free throw line, 50 percent. Men did 21 of 41, 51 percent. 2 of 8 from the arc, 25 percent. 11 of 20 from the free throw line and that is 55 percent. McClell, uh, McMillan led the way for Minden Unity with 23. Koenig had 16. Three for Cody Schaefer, four for Nick Maynard, two for Caleb Caspery, and seven for Ethan Voss with that three at the end of the game. Miller led the way for GP, 21 points. Eli White with four. Kyle Waters had two in the first half. And also 10 points for Logan Evans, six in the second half. Michael Myers had 14, 12 of those in the second half. And the win goes to GP, 56 to 55. Time to name the player of the game. It's presented by Edward Jones Financial Advisor, Derek Harris. Financial investments are important, but so are the investments of time, patience, and encouragement for young athletes that they receive from their coaches, parents, teachers, and mentors. Derek Harris, your Edward Jones Financial Advisor, understands this. That's why Derek Harris is proud to sponsor the player of the game. 
on Central Illinois Sports. And Jack just told you, Michael Myers, the big second half in this contest. The shot wasn't falling in the first half, but he comes up big with 12 second half points and helps lead his team to victory. He is today's Edward Jones Financial Advisor, Derek Harris, player of the game. We're going to take a brief break here and kind of get things re-situated. Then we'll have the varsity contest between the Tornadoes and the Mustangs coming up next for you on Central Illinois Sports.
There's sound at this time, and it's Central Illinois Sports for this afternoon's broadcast for the Grigsville Perry Tornadoes on the road at Minden Unity. Good afternoon to you once again. I'm Charlie Holt, Jack and John alongside. It's the Great River Spank pregame show on Central Illinois Sports. The JV game was a dandy. The varsity contest now, and you know, you hope these guys can live up to as a game the, uh, with a game that was exciting as that one was, and I think we have the potential to see that. Two teams with a lot of good-looking athletes, two teams on the rise right now in the area and looking to put their stamp on this young and shortened and very quick season. Bob Walker from Pressures on You just wants everybody to know it's slick outside. Use a smidgen of common sense, he says. I like that idea. It's the Great River Spank pregame show. We're going to have a smidgen of common sense and take a break to let you hear from some of the great sponsors helping to bring this game your way. Wish you had extra cash for a vacation, a boat, a new car, projects around the house. Free up more cash for the things you want by taking advantage of low interest rates. Refinance your home with Great Rivers Bank and keep more of your money by lowering your monthly payment. Start the process online at greatriversbank.bank and work with one of our experienced loan officers to get the lowest rate possible. Great Rivers Bank, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. The Western Grain Service is your progressive feed and grain resource for Western Illinois. They offer a full range of feed products for all species and many grain merchandising opportunities with locations in Golden, Paloma, Mount Sterling, Clayton, La Prairie, Liberty, Industry, Carthage, and Blandonsville. For more information, call Deer Wester Grain Services, 696-4461. That's 696-4461 or on the web at DeerWesterGrain.com. Welcome to the city of Pittsfield, a great place to call home or a great place to visit as a home away from home. Visit the beautiful downtown area with the Pike County Courthouse and many businesses and restaurants to enjoy. Then check out the Pittsfield City Lake, a great place for boating, fishing, and camping. And new to the lake this year, a disc golf course. Learn more about all that the city of Pittsfield has to offer by visiting their website, pittsfieldil.org. The city of Pittsfield and Mayor John Hayden wish the Sockies good luck this season. Did you know that PCRE Real Estate and Auction now offers a full-service auction alternative? Farmland, residential real estate, commercial real estate, estates, guns, antiques, farm equipment, and commercial equipment are a few examples that the experienced auction team is ready to assist you with. Our team can make the auction experience less stressful and smooth. Check out our next auctions at our new auction location at 500 Piper Lane in Pittsfield or call 217-430-2985 and speak with Jason Duke to learn more. Well, it is back to the Great Rivers Bank pregame show and we're here with Minden Unity and Grigsville Perry in varsity action after a thrilling 56-55 JV game, an overtime game in junior high between PCS and the West Central Cougars. Charlie, I just don't know what to expect here. This ought to be a dandy. Well, you know, I think so, Jack. And, uh, you know, these two squads are uh, two teams that have uh, a lot of potential, I think, to really make this a fun season uh, for the programs. And, you know, Greg's will parry off to a good start. Big one over Greenview. Then they beat uh, the squad from Western last night pretty handily. And uh, can I get the card for Minden Unity as well? Well, you had one, and you gave it away. I, I had a JV card. Can I get the other one? Is it on the back yeah. of the JV? No. Okay, hey, thank you. Uh, Keith Carruthers, you know, the thing about his squads is they're always going to be tough. And uh, they always play a good level of defense. And they have just three seniors on the team. So some of those underclassmen that you saw playing in the junior varsity game may see some minutes in this contest as well. And for uh, Grigsville Perry, I mean, really it starts with the ability for Tate Koonsman to create for uh, himself and his teammates and good quickness, good control with the ball is in his hand. He'll be one of the top scorers in the area. Doesn't have a ton of height, but has really worked on that outside shot to go along with his mid-range game. And he can really score the basketball. And, you know, I think both teams would like to see a little more up-based, uh, up-and-down kind of tempo, especially Grigsville Perry. And... Uh, I would say Minden Unity probably has a little more of depth on their bench than the uh, Tornadoes do at this point in time of the season. Definitely Minden's got the size advantage by, by a lot. I mean, you start looking out here at this Minden group, that is a pretty long and lanky group. On the other side, 
GP's not very big, but they'll they'll hustle up and down the court and they'll make you work really hard. Avery Bradshaw's got his work cut out for him, but he kind of likes that challenge, I think, underneath, along with uh, Kirk. He'll work really hard, too, but... Uh, I like the... Whew, the what's this big kids out there? Yeah, but I, I like the excitement being back in the Grigsville Perry program. I think things had kind of gotten a little uh, ho-hum, you know, and uh, it, it's nothing against what anybody was doing or wasn't doing, but they kind of had a little bolt of energy. Um, with Garrett White moving up from the junior high to the high school, and I think the team has reflected that as they've taken the court this season. Well, and I, you know, I just think that, uh, you know, youth has its advantages. We we love all the old coaches we've talked about for years, but everybody has their time, and it's time for the next step to move along, and uh, I just think it's exciting. Plus, and I'm going to tell you on this side, men in unity, when they're good in the area, it makes everybody else better. It makes Central work harder and Payson work harder and Augusta because they're rivals of a lot of different people and Keith Carruthers' squad, they do. They're gritty and they're going to work really hard. And he has been at Mendy Unity for a while now and has really put his stamp on that program. We'll take a look at the West Down Ford Lincoln Keys to the game next. Financial investments are important, but so are the investments of the time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, and mentors. Derek Harris, your Edward Jones financial advisor, understands this. That's why Derek Harris is a proud sponsor of the player of the game on Central Illinois Sports. For all your investment needs, call Derek Harris at 217-222-7173 or stop by the office at 1891 Main Street, Quincy. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. Welcome to West Town Ford serving Central and West Central Illinois. When you're shopping for a new vehicle, we believe you need a comfortable ambiance, dynamic selection of vehicles, competitive options for financing, and high quality service to feel confident and stress free throughout the car buying process. At West Town Ford, you will find just that a great selection of Ford models and a team that will make the process as smooth as possible. West Town Ford Lincoln in Jacksonville, just 30 minutes away from high prices. Welcome back to the West Town Ford Lincoln. Keys to this game between Minden Unity and Grigsville Perry. Well, I mean, I think for the Tornadoes, it uh, really comes down to hitting some outside shots, and they're going to have to do a good job collectively as a team boxing out against a much bigger team. For this Minden Unity squad, it's going to be key for them to take good care of the basketball. The Tornadoes can be very dangerous when they are able to get out and run in transition. We're going to have the National Anthem. Now that you've heard the West Town Ford Lincoln keys to the game, and uh, so we're going to take a break. We'll come back with more after this. The Farmers National Bank of Griggsville with locations in Griggsville, Mount Sterling, and Pittsfield. Maybe you ask, why choose Farmers National Bank of Griggsville? The answer is simple. Local people, local decisions, and local commitment with local investments. We have many products and services to meet your needs. We invite you to find out more about us. Go to fmbgriggsville.com and explore all the services we offer. Visit any of our three friendly locations in Mount Sterling, Griggsville, and Pittsfield today. The Farmers National Bank of Griggsville, local people helping local people, member FDI. I see. It's time to be thinking about tax planning. You can count on Illinois FBFM for accounting, consulting, and tax preparation for farmers and businesses in Pike, Brown, and Adams County. Phone 217-593-7233. Illinois FBFM can take care of your farm accounting needs. Get your accounts in order for this tax season. Contact Bob Ray, Jesse Schutman, Triopian Kansas State grad Emily Carls, Nathan and new all-star accountant Madeline Hire. Illinois FBFM in Camp Point, working for you. Do you know Kate Marable from Hometown Real Estate? She's from my hometown. Whether you're buying or selling a home, you can trust Kate Marable for all your home needs. 217-370-9809. That's 370-9809. Or go to www.illinoishometown.com. That's Kate Marable from Hometown Real Estate. And you can trust her because... She's from my hometown. She's from my hometown. There's no debate. Call Kate at Hometown real estate today. If you're near retirement or thinking about retiring, you probably have questions. How do you make your savings last? How much should you take out and when? You're ready for retirement, but are your finances? Your Edward Jones financial advisor, Derek Harris, can help you build a strategy to help your finances keep up with your needs over the long haul. You've done what it takes to get there. Now it's time to make the most of retirement. Stop by the office at 1891 Main Street in Quincy, Illinois for a face-to-fact appointment. Edward Jones, Making Sense of Investing, member SIPC. 
Starting lineups brought to you by Lipkin Seed Sales, your pioneer dealer, and crop insurance and more. Great farming assistance from Aaron, Brett, and Evan. Let's hear the starters for today's game. Well, for the Greensville Prairie Tornadoes, Garrett White, their head coach, assisted by Keenan Elliott. Out of guard, he's a 5'10 junior, Jackson Freeman. At a second guard, the 5'11 junior, Tate Koonsman. At the third guard, the six foot senior, Cash Kirk. Out of four, he's the six one senior, Avery Bradshaw. And at the other four, the six foot junior, Ethan Lothridge. Lothridge, Bradshaw, Kirk, Koonsman, and Freeman for the Tornadoes. For the Minden Unity Mustangs, Keith Carruthers is their head coach. They'll start the following at a guard, a 6'1 senior, Brett Bristow. At a second guard, a 5'11 sophomore, Ryle Duke. At the third guard, the 5'8 junior, Vince Magliochetti. At a forward, a 6'2 senior, Aiden Obert. And at the other forward, a 5'11 senior, Cooper Thompson. Thompson, Obert, Magliochetti, Duke and Bristow for the Mustangs. I just want to tell you how happy it was last year when I saw that Vince Magliochetti was a junior because I knew Charlie liked the flow of you saying a name with that many syllables as we're playing the game. Hey, the handoff of the ball will be brought to you by Bowlers Universe. They're open 4 to midnight today. Why don't you stop out and see them and enjoy some open bowling today at the Bowlers Universe. No, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. The referee's going to give them the ball. Go crazy. <laughs> Freeman inbounds into Coons when we're underway here from Menden Unity. Kirk with it right side, deep in the corner, Bradshaw. Koonsman down to Bradshaw. Left hand runner up, no good, foul, then he'll head to the stripe, nine seconds in. We're back at it, free throws in this one, and I bet you the varsity will shoot those free throws pretty well. Looks like it's gonna go against Thompson. It'll be Thompson's first, team first, two free throws. Bradshaw makes the first. And we got a one nothing ball game in favor of GP. Tornado's off to an early advantage in this one. Avery Bradshaw, second one up and also good. Nice job, Avery. Two nothing GP on top in the early going of the Trash Queen scoreboard. Into the front court, here comes Thompson and he's fouled by Bradshaw. He says, Bradshaw I fouled said, you, you fouled me. That's right, let's tra trade places, trade places. Thanks, Elmer. <laughs> I'm just glad you didn't bring your weapon here today, Elmer Fudd, because I would have been offended by that. 7.42 to play in the first Kill quarter. The oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa, no, we're a salad eating community now. Here's a turnover. Jackson with the steal. Jackson Freeman, that is. He's got tape on the left thumb right now, it looks like. Here comes Tate Koonsman on the attack. He'll work on the dribble drive between four defenders and is fouled on the floor. On the floor, Tate's fouled. It'll be ball out of bounds. Foul will go against Ryle Duke, his first, second team foul. John Freeman puts tape on his left thumb just so he knows which one's his left one. His son on the other wow. hand. His son on the other hand is hurt. John, I'm, John I'm sorry. <laughs> the uh, opinions of some of the broadcasters do not necessarily reflect. Oh, we love you, John, even though you're a Yankee fan. The inbounds pass comes to Kirk. The Yankees of the West, the Dodgers with another big pickup yesterday. Yeah, Cody Freeman's just feeling good. Here's a nice pass down though. Bradshaw to Kirk, shot up too hard. Rebound, poked in the eye was Brett Bristow. He looks to be okay. I had a question the other day. Let's say you get cut on your face and you bleed on your mask. Do you have to replace the mask too? You have too? to get a different mask. You can't, ha you gotta have a blood mask in the, uh, <laughs> the back. In the equipment, it's a uh, yeah. fun time to be alive, well, isn't it? Just like with Freeman, he's gotta have a blood band-aid there. 7-0-2 to play in the first. Here's a ball picked out of the air again by Freeman. Freeman with the steal. Second turnover by the Mustangs. Into the front court comes Koonsman with the basketball. Baseline. Now gets it back. Drives, kicks, and they'll call him for traveling. Yep. Tucked it under his arm, and they won't let you get by with that first turnover there. Two on Minden, one on GP. Minden coming the other way, trying to tie it up or take the lead. 2-0 Griggsville Perry. 6.50 left first quarter. Trice Queen scoreboard. Into the front court with the basketball, Cooper Thompson dishes out front to Obert. Now deep in the corner, it goes to Bristow. Long pass, finds Maglio Shetty. Over on the left wing, Duke. Deep in the corner, it goes to Obert. Over to Maglio Shetty, right side, Obert. Dribble drive in, denied there. Good defense by Lothridge and Bradshaw, close to five. Kicks it out front to Duke. Skip pass on the left side, now it finds its way around to Thompson. His shot, no good. Rebound down low, put back up, no good by Duke. Rebound this time is out of bounds. Last touched by the Tornadoes. 
lot of people battling for a rebound there. Aiden Obert was in there working hard. Inbounds pass comes in out front to Maglio Shetty. Over on the right wing, Duke. Ryle. It's the only Ryle in the area that I know of. Here's a long pass, finds Maglio Shetty. No look pass down low. It's a good one, finds Bristow. He's hammered from behind, and he'll shoot two shots. Bradshaw's going to pick up his second foul in a couple of trips, second team foul. Free throws on the other side. Bristow will shoot him. 2-0 at the 6.03 mark. Grigsville Perry with the lead. And the first one by Bristow is up and good. Here's Aaron Miller into the game. Avery Bradshaw has to sit down with that second foul. That hurts. He was kind of the size you had down there. Along with Lothridge, who plays really hard. Second one up by Bristow. In and out, no good. Rebound comes off the other way to Koonsman. 2-1 game, two minutes into the contest. Koonsman directing some traffic. Here's a ball kicked by Brett Bristow and into the backcourt it goes. Nice play by Garrett White there. Got it with the left hand, tucked it under and tossed it back out. Tell you what, if there's uh, gonna be a golf tournament between the coaches, Craigswell Perry's got a pretty good start. Don't kid yourself, Garrett White was a good basketball player at JHS in his day too. Right side with it is Lothridge out to Miller. Nobody worked any harder than him. Miller has picked it up, free throw line to Kirk. Kirk will penetrate, kick it out to Koonsman. Koonsman looking for a driving lane, now to Miller, three, no good. Rebound underneath, and it goes to Obert for the Mustangs. Quick pass into the front court to Duke. Ball knocked loose by Kirk, he's trying to corral it, and he does. Kirk with the steal. Off to the races into the front court, and he got the ball caught on the hip. They'll say it was tipped away, so no double dribble. Koonsman will set it up. He's sporting the bright yellow shoes this season, easy to spot. Good ball movement by the Tornadoes. Freeman to Lothridge finds Kirk for two. Kirk's got his first basket of the game. Makes it a 4-1 Tornado advantage on the Trash Queen scoreboard. And now a foul as they are into the front court. A blocking foul on Lothridge, it appears. Lothridge picks up his first third team foul. So the guys playing underneath the basket for Grigsville Perry have all three of their fouls. Thought we were going to have the mask break, but not yet, I guess. Inbounds pass comes out to Maglio Shetty. Stay tuned, it's coming. Ooh, I can feel the excitement coming. Get to take off the mask and all gather together. Here's a pass down low to Duke and he's called for travel. He did, fourth turnover. And they'll say, go to the benches, take off the mask, let yourself breathe. 446 to play in the first, 4-1 advantage for the Tornadoes on top of Minden Unity back after this. Sharing a big family moment, working hard from home, Relaxing with a friend. Welcome to life in the broadband age, where reliable internet has never been more important. Cascom keeps your family connected with consistent speeds up to one gig and Plume whole home adaptive Wi-Fi. Make sure your home's ready for life in the broadband age. Call our local service team or visit us online at Cascom. I'm Gary Mendenhall. I am running for mayor because I believe in the future of Pittsfield and its citizens. We have the potential to thrive economically and safely in a state where the outlook appears tough. Let's prosper and grow as a community through job creation, tourism, and recreation. We are neighbors and friends who care, love, support, and stand up together. On April 6th, vote Gary Mendenhall for mayor of Pittsfield. We're back to live action after the mask break. What a wild time it was. 4.46 to play in the first. 4-1 is the advantage for GP, and they will have the basketball. Length of the court to go. I sent him the message. Thank you. Thank you very much. Into the front court comes Koonsman with the basketball. He'll throw the bounce pass to Kirk. Kirk has the ball poked away out of bounds. It'll stay with the Tornadoes in a really tough spot to inbound it over in the corner. 4.36 remaining. Lights are on, but nobody's home. <laughs> Top of the key, Miller. Down to Kirk. Out of the lane, he goes to Freeman. Now to Miller. Patient with it there. Ball tipped. Run down by Koonsman. Tell you what, Duke out front is long in that uh, zone. He's really making it tough to pass. Here's Lothridge finds an opening in the middle, and he makes the shot. 
Nice pass, nice find. Doing a good job using that high post are the Tornadoes, and they're out to a 6-1 advantage. Into the front court, here comes Bristow, and he's fouled. Freeman will put the hands on him and be called for the foul. His first team fourth, 407 left first quarter on the Trash Queen scoreboard. The uh, squad from... Still on, Kent. Yep. Squad from uh, GP got to slow down on the fouling side of things, don't they? Yep. Here's a drive in, shot up no good. Rebound down to Lothridge, threw it away though. Ball picked out of the air by Maglio Shetty. So a turnover and then a foul on Lothridge will be his second. Two on him, two on Bradshaw. New man coming in for Minden Unity is Clayton Talcott. The other side, you're gonna see Logan Evans coming into the game. Free throws for Minden Unity trailing six to one. First one is up and good. And that's by Maglachetti. Alana Express here to serve you with walk-in medical care when you need it. Open 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. every Monday through Saturday. Alana Express sees patients ages 18 months and older with no appointments necessary. Learn more about their services at alanahospital.org. Second one by Maglachetti is up and good. This makes it 6-3. 3.52 to play and a timeout by Griggsville Perry. 3.51 left in the first quarter. 6-3, the advantage for the Tornadoes back after this. Pressure is on you. would like to thank everyone in our community for your support in the past 15 years. We have over 1,400 square foot of retail space with spirit wear for Unity Mustangs, Liberty Eagles, Brown County Hornets, and our hometown Central Panthers. Businesses, let us help you promote your brand. Decoration methods we offer include screen printing, embroidery, and laser engraving. We are excited to now offer lasered hat patches. With limitations on attendance to local sporting events, we are excited to help bring you this game. Pressure is on you. By 506 Westwood, Camp Point, Illinois. 3.51 left first quarter, 6-3. to three, The lead for GP. And they've got the basketball after the timeout. See what they're wanting to do. They have good ball movement. Koonsman with the ball to Miller. Playing against a little different zone setup, like a 1-3-1, one, one, isn't it? It looks like to you. That's what we saw against South, or for Southeastern last night. It was effective. Miller now. Hard to get a rotation movement off of it. He'll work it to Freeman. A little floater from the free throw line. No good. And Talcott. Into the front court with it. Right wing. Maglio Shetty. Out top finds Duke to Maglio Shetty for three. No good. Running down the rebound will be Cooper Thompson to Duke. Duke on the drive. Shot up. No good. Fouled. And this will be the sixth team foul already against the Tornadoes. Freeman called for this one. Freeman picks up his second. So three guys have all six of the fouls. And we've got Duke to the free throw line. His first one is up and too long. Pike County Express is your local family-owned newspaper serving Pike County since 1991. Check them out each Wednesday on a newsstand near you. Next one is up. And won't fall, and the rebound off to a very athletic Koonsman. He's going to push it into the front court. Blink of an eye, gets coast to coast, shot up no good, but he's fouled on the floor by Maglio Shetty. Maglio Shetty will pick up the foul. That'll be his first, team foul number three. Inbounds pass coming. Freeman to inbound it at the 309 mark of this first quarter. Lob into Koonsman. He'll put it up and won't fall. Rebound pulled in by Obert. His second. End of the front court, Maglio Shetty. He finds Duke, who drives in, puts it up, won't fall. And Kirk's got the board for GP. Both teams just having a little trouble putting the biscuit in the basket. 2.50 to play on this one. And Miller has picked it up. It's in the first quarter, of course. Down low, good find to Freeman. Freeman going to put on a post move. Now he has to throw it back out and throws it to the scorer's table. Turnover here. Meyer's going to come into the game. He will replace Jackson Freeman. 2.41 to play in the first, 6-3 advantage for the Tornadoes. Here's a pass down low, finds an open man in Talcott. He missed the shot on the rebound. They're tied up. They're laying out of bounds, and who's going to get the ball? I thought it'll, it was a two-point takedown. It'll stay with Minden Unity. Thompson was trying to push him forward for the first down, I think, there. And it'll stay with the Mustangs. Inbounds pass comes in the corner to Duke. Works it down low, turnaround shot, Thompson no good, and on the rebound, a foul. Somebody's over the back. 
Cooper Thompson's going to, nope, they're going to call it on uh, Duke. They said number three, right? Yep. Yes, sir. His second. Team fourth, six on GP, four on Midland Unity. New man coming into the game on the next dead ball will be Cody Schaefer. He played in the JV game, as did Logan Evans, who's got the ball right now to cash Kirk. Kirk has the man flop on him. He'll work it over to Myers. Deep in the corner, it goes to Koonsman. Koonsman will throw it out top to Evans. Over on the right wing with it. Miller throws a pass over the top of the man and into the hands of Duke, who steals it away. Duke on the run out. Maglio Shetty, and he's off to the traveling circus as he gets called for the steps. Six turnover against Menden. Bryce Jansen also into the game. Tornadoes have had six points for a while now. It was six to one. 150 to play in the first and a 6-3 score on the Trash Queen scoreboard. Here's Evans with the basketball. This 1-3-1 is giving him fits, just like the Sockies had trouble for a while against Southeastern. And well, Southeastern was very long with it. I thought that ball was kicked, possibly. It goes out of bounds. It will stay with the Tornadoes underneath. Myers to throw it in. He'll get it into Kirk. Over to Koonsman, back in the corner. Here's a three by Myers, no good. Rebound down to Maglio Shetty for the Mustangs. 129 to play in the first. Over on the left side, Talcott. There's a pass tip stolen away. Now nearly stolen back. Myers gets it ahead to Koonsman. Koonsman will put it off the window and in for two. His first two of the day. First points in a while for GP. They extend the lead out to five, eight, three. Ties their biggest lead of the day. Now they're pestering him in the backcourt. Get it across to Schaefer, does Minden Unity. Over on the wing to Jansen. Down in the middle, it goes to Obert. Back out to Maglio Shetty. Under a minute to play in the quarter. Maglio Shetty with a long skip to Talcott. Looks in the middle to Obert. Turns and faces there. Now up and under move, and it's stripped stolen away. Kirk on the run into the front court. He'll throw the pass to Koonsman. Up, under, got too far under. And the rebound comes down to Jansen. Works it to Maglio Shetty. He'll try the full court run into the front court. Still on the bounce. Good find down low. Obert up under. Travel no call. Puts it up, but the left hand won't go. And Freeman gets the board. And then he's hitting the mask. Nice job by Freeman getting that. You may uh, find out about that. Got a little blood in his lip. Don't bleed on the mask, son. Or on your thumb. They have the trainer down here. I think he's going to. Here comes come, Phil. He's going to come look at it. Is that Punxsutawney, Phil? 27 walk, seconds walk, walk, left. 8-7 advantage for the Tornadoes. 8-3 advantage. I don't know where 7 came from. They're up 8-3. That's a 6-point lead. There wasn't a 7 anywhere in there. 5-point lead. Yep. That was my next guess. Math is hard. <laughs> Koonsman with it. He'll put up a jumper in the lane. It won't find the mark. Rebound down to Schaefer. He'll push it ahead. Maglio Shetty, half-court shot at the buzzer. It's off the backboard. No good. And we have played a quarter of basketball action. And the Griggs will parry Tornadoes lead. The Minden Unity Mustangs, 8-3. to three. Second quarter play-by-play -play after this. CRE Real Estate and Auction is your number one resource for buying or selling real estate in West Central Illinois. With two office locations, one in Pike County and the other in Calhoun County, PCRE Real Estate and Auction is the place to go when you're looking to buy or sell farmland, recreational and hunting land, residential or commercial property. See our current listings at PCRERealEstate.com or call us at 217-285-5800 for PCRE Real Estate and Auction. Cole Best Systems Builders for all your insulation needs. We are a full-service insulation contractor offering both open and closed cell spray foam, blown cellulose, and fiberglass installation. Best Systems has two BPI certified professionals ready to inspect your home or business today. You may qualify for incentives through the American Act on Energy program. Call Scott or Michael at 217-285-6005 for your free estimate or visit us online at GoBestSystems.com and start saving money on your energy bill today. 8-3 after one quarter. GP with the lead. They're 3 of 9, 33%. 0 of 2 from the arc. 1 of 3 from the free throw line. But wait, Minden's 0 of 11, 0 of 2, and 3 of 6. It's 8-3. Kind of a low-scoring, ugly game on this snowy afternoon. 
JV kids uh, might want to take them on right now. Got some bigger athletes in this one. McMillan's into the game. We saw him play really well in the JV game. Avery Bradshaw back out there playing with two fouls. Here's a left-handed three on the way and rattled in by Bryce Chanson. His first three. First bucket of the day for Mendy. Makes it eight to six on the Trash Queen scoreboard. Avery Bradshaw with the basketball. Works it in the corner to Myers, trying to answer with the tray, and he does. Something he didn't get done in the JV game, he got done in the varsity. He's got a three. He's trying to get warmed up. It's cold in here. Here's a ball up for grabs. Avery Bradshaw goes after it, along with Maglio Shetty, and Avery has happened to be taller that time, so he knocked it out of bounds. Here comes Nick Maynard into the game, the 5'10 sophomore. Five-point lead right now is the biggest of the ball game for the third time. 11 to 6. Here's a turnover, unless Maynard can get it. And uh, he could not touch it. Nobody else could either, so they'll take it back out down here. I'm going to tell you right now, I thought Keith Griffith was going to kick that ball. It's going to come right up and hit me in the head. <laughs> and then I was going to call Amy and tell her, tell on him. You know, the only thing bad about that is we wouldn't have had it on camera. <laughs> could have had. Koonsman with the ball into the front court. Throws it out front to Bradshaw. No look pass down low. Finds Kirk. Kirk will dish it back out to Koonsman. Fakes left, goes right, pulls up for a jump shot. No good. Rebound down to McMillan. He's got it stripped away by Bradshaw on the steal. Puts up a shot, no good, but he's fouled. McMillan found out this game is a little bit harder than the other one. And he had it stripped away for a turnover number nine on Minden. Avery Bradshaw will go to the free throw line to shoot a pair. Talking to the freshman on what he wants him to do. Left-handed Bradshaw misses the first. Damon Embrick of Great Rivers Bank is here to help you with your next auto residential or commercial loan. Call Damon at 217-285-4404. This could be the biggest lead of the ball game, and it is 12-6. Doubled it up. Has GP on Minden. Bradshaw with three now. 6.55 to play in the half. Now another turnover by the Mustangs as Maynard overthrew McMillan. JV's had almost 30. Varsity's got 10 here. Just getting started in the second quarter. Ooh, a lot of turnovers. Chris Dewar from KQA looking for some highlights here. In the corner, Myers, two Koonsman. Now Avery Bradshaw throws a pass in the middle, and it's stolen away. Fourth turnover on GP. Cody Schaefer gets it to Jansen, whose shot won't roll through. Rebound tied up, and it will be Grigsville Perry basketball. John Shepard says that's a jump ball. Just Subs in, Thompson and Travis Cram into the game for the first time. Cram's a six-foot senior. GP with a six-point lead and the basketball, 6.30 to play in the half. Koonsman out front to Myers. On the right wing now with it is Kirk. Skip pass to Koonsman. He'll put it on the deck, drive inside, leans back, shot won't fall. And the rebound is pulled in by Jansen. He'll push it ahead and a travel going to be called. It's taking off with it before putting the dribble down was Cooper Thompson. 11 turnovers now. Here comes Freeman in. He'll sit Michael Myers down. On the other side, sitting down is Obert. Back into the contest is Schaefer. Also back in is Bristow. He replaces Jansen. 6-10 to play in the half. GP on top, 12-6. Freeman with the basketball. Free throw line, finds Lothridge to Koonsman. He's taking a single dribble. Ooh, good find down low to Bradshaw. Rises, shoots, can't get it to fall. Rebound, Kirk soars in and grabs a board, and he's fouled. Ash Kirk very aggressive going after the rebound there. Foul's going to go on Cooper Thompson. Thompson, and that'll be his second. So Aiden Obert's up and right back into the game. He will replace Cody Schaefer. Bradshaw to inbound. He throws it right into the hands of Obert. Turned it over. Turnover number six. Into the front court come the Mustangs. McMillan with it left wing. Throws it out top to Thompson. Pestered there. On the right wing with it is McMillan. He'll put up a three, no good. Rebound down low over, and he double dribbled. Yep, he rebounded, dribbled, picked it up, dribbled. 12 turnovers now, Minden. Almost every trip. Hard to score when you turn it over. They have turned it over 12 times and have six points right now. 5.30 to play. One bucket and a half. 
And they're still within shouting distance. GP has got to capitalize on some of those. Freeman with it. Free throw line to Lothridge. Over to Kirk. Good ball movement. Kirk snakes his way in and scores. That's pretty. He's got four. Good quick first step and an eight-point lead now for the Tornadoes. Largest lead of the contest on the Trash Queen scoreboard. Now here's the ball knocked out of bounds in the backcourt. It'll stay with the Mustangs on the sideline. Thompson to inbound. Gets it into Cram. Cram back to Thompson. Thompson, a bounce pass in the lane that is a tough one for Obert. He somehow gets a hold of it. He'll put a dribble out and put it back up and in. Obert with his first two. Makes it 14-8. The other way, Kirk on his way back and a blocking foul called on Thompson. I believe. You know what time it is. Mask break. Mask break time. Second one of the day, 4.55 to play in the half. 14-8 advantage for the Tornadoes. They'll have the ball when we come back. With all the financial headlines, are you wondering if your retirement savings will last? The market's ups and downs can keep you guessing, especially if you're approaching retirement or considering it. Your Edward Jones financial advisor, Derek Harris, can help. If you have more questions than answers about what's next, you can work together to help ensure you're prepared for your journey. After all, retirement isn't the end of the trek, it's the new beginning. Stop by the office at 1891 Main Street, Quincy. Edward Jones, making sense of investments. Member SIPC. It's time for you to find out the difference that thousands have found with Westtown Ford in Jacksonville. If you're looking for a new Ford, Lincoln, or maybe a used car truck or SUV, why don't you take the short drive to Jacksonville, Illinois, Westtown Ford. They have the best sales and service in the area, and what a selection, thousands to choose from. It's Westtown Ford in Jacksonville, 30 minutes from high prices. Phone 217-245-7101 or go to westtownford.com. Real Net and Twine located just north of Vincefield across from the airport. Real Net and Twine is your local headquarters for concrete lawn ornaments, statues, fountains, and so much more. Stop by and see them or give them a call at 285-5013. Real Net and Twine. Whether it's a gorilla or an orangutan, we do not know, but it's right there at the entrance to Real Net and Twine. And it's purple. Purple primate, we've called it for years. Got a lot of neat stuff there. The reels? Yes, they do. Not hard to find really good stuff. Hard to find items. Let's put Kirk into free throw line. 14-8. Shot up, won't fall. Rebound Lothridge. Shot up, won't fall. Next one by Kirk is up and good. Two offensive rebounds. Tornado stuck with it. And again, they've doubled up the score on Minden Unity. It's eight-point advantage, tying their biggest lead of the contest on the Trash Queen scoreboard. This is close to 10 seconds in the backcourt already. Bristow pushes it ahead to Cram. He'll put it on the floor and travels. And he'll be called for it. 13th turnover and Griggsville Perry's defense is causing some havoc right now. Here comes Vince Maglio Shetty and uh, Clayton Talcott back into the game for the Mustangs. 16-8 GP, 429 to play in the second quarter. Travis Cram will sit down for a little while. Free throw line, Lothridge with it. Gets it to Koonsman on the wing. To his left, jump shot, good. Good move by Tate Koonsman. Makes it 18-8, a 10-point advantage for the first time on the evening. Obert with it into the front court. Bounce pass out front to Bristow. He'll work the pass to McMillan. Over on the right wing, Maglio Shetty. Back to McMillan, stepping in front of it's Lothridge. Pushes it into the front court. Koonsman on the run out. Left hand shot, good, and he's fouled. Koonsman with another bucket. He'll get the end one. He's got six. Foul on Minden Unity. The biggest lead of the ball game right now. And the foul goes against Maglio Shetty. That'll be his second, eighth team foul. 20 to eight in favor of GP. Each one of their games so far, they've just been able to kind of run away from their opponent. Up, Koonsman makes it. 21 to 8. He's got 7. They extend their lead out even farther. 3.50 to play in the first half. Maglio Shetty with it. Double team comes his way. Ball knocked out of bounds by Kirk. This GP squad is aggressive defensively right now. They will make you take care of it. It's funny what happens when you put pressure on people. Yep. At every level, at every time. 
Bristow with a little, uh, kind of a nonchalant behind the back pass. Ball tipped, run down by Maglio Shetty. In the corner, it goes to Ober to pull up jump shot on the baseline. He finds the mark. It looked good. He's got four. 21-10, 325 to play in this first half. Been impressed with the way GP's been able to move the ball against this zone, even without very many big guys. Here's Koonsman on another pull-up shot, and he hits again. He's heating up. He's got, let's see, eight. And a timeout by Minden. We'll take it to 312 to play in the half, 23-10. Griggs will appear with the advantage. We're back after this. I'm Gary Mendenhall. I am running for mayor because I believe in the future of Pittsfield and its citizens. We have the potential to thrive economically and safely in a state where the outlook appears tough. Let's prosper and grow as a community through job creation, tourism, and recreation. We are neighbors and friends who care, love, support, and stand up together. On April 6th, vote Gary Mendenhall for mayor of Pittsfield. In a world that seems to be out of control, your friends at First Christian Church of Pittsfield, Illinois, want you to know that the hope of God's love reaches out to you. God loves you, and he has a purpose for your life. If you'd like to learn more about this, we invite you to join us at 8 a.m. or at 10.30 on Sunday mornings at 225 North Memorial Street in Pittsfield or online at fccpittsfield.org, our Facebook page, or our YouTube channel. First Christian Church of Pittsfield, Illinois, a safe place to learn and grow. Twenty-three ten in favor of GP with 3-12 left in the first half. Menden took the timeout. Now they're going to try to regroup and get things going. 13-point lead is the ties the biggest of the ball game. Kirk now with seven points after that little splurge. Here's Kirk. the ball stolen away. Coons with the steal. Left hand layup is good. And one. Larceny layup again. Foul goes against Talcott. Ninth team foul. 25-10, biggest lead right now. Thing about it is, it just keeps building if you uh, don't take care of the basketball because they'll just keep coming at you like a bunch of gnats. Koonsman puts it up. It's good. He's got 11. 26-10. to 10. Had a big night last night, too. Here's a ball nearly stolen away, and Freeman will run it down. He brings it into the front court with a right-hand bounce. Out top, the Koonsman up by 16. In the corner, three, Kirk won't go. Rebound, Koonsman after it. He and the man under him are tied up, and it will be. What happens here? A jump ball? Looks like the ball was out of bounds off of the Minden Unity player. He looks a little wobbly out there, this Schaefer. Yeah. Inbounds pass comes in the corner to Lothridge. Now to Koonsman. He'll try the dribble drive. Gets to an opening. Shoots and scores. Koonsman now with 13. 28-10. Scored him in bunches. Pouring him in in a hurry now are the Tornadoes. Obert with it. He'll try a three and a pull-up game. No good. Rebound to Freeman. Pushes to Kirk. Kirk on the run into the front court. Has pulled it back out to Freeman. To Koonsman. Fakes left goes right in the column for a travel. Seven turnovers now. On GP on the other side, 16 against Menden. 224 left in the first half. You think those bright shoes help show that your feet weren't planted? I don't know. Here's a ball. Avery Bradshaw is going to run it down. And another good hustle play by the Tornadoes to Kirk into the front court. Dribble drive in. Pulls it back out front to Freeman. Extra pass. Koonsman wide open three. Yes. He rattled that one home, did he not? 16 for him now. And they never, nobody ever signaled three there, so. 31-10 is what it ought to be. It should be. I think it was a It is. It's three. on the board. Okay. It's 31-10. Well, nobody ever signaled three. Here's a ball that's tipped and stolen away into the front court. Kirk with the ball. He'll try the drive. Extra pass down low. Koonsman leans back. Won't go, but he's fouled, and he'll shoot two shots. Freeman got his fourth board just moments ago, and he's working hard out there is Jackson Freeman. I think, uh. Mater picks up the foul. His first. Team 10. Double bonus either way, but uh, two free throws to be shot. First one is up and no good. We'll bring a sub into the game here. They will say yes, it was a three, so everybody is sure on that one. Just nobody signaled for the three point shot. 
Koonsman. He's been red hot everywhere else. Now he gets back out of the free throw line. He's two for three from there. Has 16 points. Make it 17 as he makes the adjustment. 32 to 10 tornadoes. The end of the front the court. Lead. With it is Schaefer. Hop, skip, and a jump. Blocked by Lothridge. Rebound down to Freeman. Into the front court. Cash Kirk on the run out. He's fouled, and he'll shoot two. Kirk will go just, to the free throw line. They're just in a hurry getting up and down the floor here, and Minden Nudity cannot keep up. Yep. Foul on Maynard again. It'll be his second. Double bonus situation either way, but Kirk shooting two. Five, four, nine is GP. Make him six for ten. Pike County Concrete, if you need concrete for your next job or project, give Pike County Concrete a call. 285-5548 with locations in Pittsfield and Jacksonville. Second one wouldn't fall, and Obert comes away with the rebound. A 23-point lead for the Tornadoes, though. Into the front court with it is Duke. He'll get it down to McMillan. Drives in, shot, just will not fall through, and Ooh. he'll shoot two. Wouldn't go the other way for anything the first game. Lothridge picks up his Third foul, I do believe. Seventh team foul, shooting foul. McMillan to the free throw line. McMillan will get the first one up, and it's good. Moose Lodge 420, you can check them out for their Friday meals. New specials each week. The food's hot and the drinks are always cold at Moose Lodge 420 in Pittsfield. McMillan will try it again. Up and good. Good looking athlete. He is. He's going to be a good one. Freeman with the ball to Miller. Now it goes to Koonsman. Koonsman will try the dribble drive. Now is going to shovel it off to Avery Bradshaw. He had the ball bounce off of his foot, but a run down by Kirk. The a one minute. Three, Say ahead. it again. The 1-3-1 one, one was giving them trouble, but now Menden's in the man-to-man because -man they've got to force the issue down by so much. Well, and the Tornadoes have started moving the ball so well offensively and then they turn Minden over so many times that it's hard to hard to slow down everything when that's going on. Hit 45 seconds left in the half. 33-12 Tornadoes in control of this one. Avery Bradshaw with it on the dribble against Obert. The Tornadoes are playing a little stall game here. Now Miller to Koonsman with 30 seconds left. They're going to play for one shot. They're up by 21. They've got no reason to be in a hurry. Koonsman looks for an opening. He'll throw it out front to Bradshaw. With 18 seconds left. Avery Bradshaw picks it up. The Koonsman to 13. Now 10. Passes it right side to Freeman. And Coach Garrett White wants a timeout with 8.5 seconds left in the half. Timeout Tornadoes up 33-12. Back on the other side of this break. Prairie Land FS is locally owned and operated. We proudly serve our neighbors like you with 24-hour service to ensure the comfort of you and your family. Prairie Land FS, your leading supplier of choice. Did you know that Prairie Land FS doesn't just sell seed? They treat it and box it right here at one of their local facilities, then deliver it to your farm or fields. Prairie Land FS, your leading supplier of choice. Getting close to the halftime break here, which will be the Carnes Communication U.S. Cellular halftime show. It'll be Greeksville Perry basketball with 8.5 seconds left. Here we go. Bradshaw tried to hand it off. The ball's tipped. He's still trying to get a hold of it. It's still loose, and actually it's going to be loose as the buzzer sounds. So not able to execute there, but the Tornadoes did a lot of things right in that first half. They lead 33-12. Over Minden Unity, we take you to the Carnes Communication U.S. Cellular Halftime Show. Halftime stats and analysis coming your way after this. Nothing in life is free. Well, we're here to tell you they're wrong. Because when you switch to U.S. Cellular, you can get the Samsung Galaxy S21 5G for free with no hidden requirements. That's right. The Samsung Galaxy S21 5G has launched and you can get it for free with no hidden requirements. U.S. Cellular. Terms and conditions apply. See store at uscellular.com for details. Cards Communications, your local U.S. Cellular agent on the corner of Jackson and Washington Street in Pittsfield. Call 285-5400 for Cards Communications. 
Damon Plumbing, serving all of Pike County and the surrounding area with quality residential and commercial plumbing services. Damon Plumbing offers septic installation, drain cleaning, new water lines, remodel work for your home, or if you're planning a new build, make sure you include the Damon guys to get it right the first time. No job too big. Have you seen Braden and Doug? Or too small? Sorry, Corby, we couldn't resist. Call Braden today at 217-491-5415 or Doug at 217-617-2318. Damon and plumbing recommended by our family for your family you can plan for most things in your life but being sick isn't one of them that's why illini express has expanded hours so your family can get the care you require open 7 a.m to 7 p.m monday through saturday illini express can see patients 18 months and older no appointment necessary when you can't wait to feel better illini express is here for you located on the square in Pittsfield. Learn more at IlliniHospital.org. They say nothing in life is free. Well, we're here to tell you they're wrong because when you switch to US Cellular, you can get the Samsung Galaxy S21 5G for free with no hidden requirements. That's right, the Samsung Galaxy S21 5G has launched and you can get it for free with no hidden requirements. US Cellular, terms and conditions apply. See store uscellular.com for details. Cards Communications, your local US Cellular agent on the corner of Jackson and Washington Street in Pittsfield. Call 285-5400 for Cards Communication. If your job situation is changing because of layoffs or restructuring, you may have to make several decisions. One important decision may be what to do with your retirement plan. Make sure your retirement stays on track. Derek Harris, your Edward Jones Financial Advisor, can help. Stop by the office at 1891 Main Street in Quincy, Illinois. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. It was 8-3 to three after one quarter. Grigsville Perry broke it open in the second quarter with a 25-9 to nine quarter. Mindy Unity shooting 3 of 19, 15.8%, 1 of 4th in the arc, 25%, 5 of 8 from the free throw line, 62%. They've turned it over 17 times in the first half, and that's been their bugaboo. GP turned it over 7 times. Uh, they got a couple guys in a little bit of foul trouble, but they're hanging right in there. 12 of 23, 52%, 2 of 5 from the arc, 40%, 6 of 11 from the free throw line, 54%. First half stats. I'll come your way on the Carnes Communication U.S. Cellular Halftime Show. Individual stats and more are coming your way. Hope you'll stay tuned. Hey, post your picture of your watch party at home where you're watching from on our Central Illinois Sports Facebook page. We'd love to look at them after the game. We're back with more on this 33-12 GP lead over Minden after the best systems builders for all your insulation needs. We are a full service insulation contractor offering both open and closed cell spray foam, blown cellulose, and fiberglass installation. Best Systems has two BPI certified professionals ready to inspect your home or business today. You may qualify for incentives through the American Act on Energy program. Call Scott or Michael at 217-285-6005 for your free estimate or visit us online at gobestsystems.com and start saving money on your energy bill today. Today. Dear Western Grain Service is your progressive feed and grain resource for Western Illinois. They offer a full range of feed products for all species and many grain merchandising opportunities with locations in Golden, Paloma, Mount Sterling, Clayton, La Prairie, Liberty, Industry, Carthage, and Blandonsville. For more information, call Dear Wester Grain Services, 696-4461. That's 696-4461 or on the web at DearWesterGrain.com. Welcome to the city of Pittsfield, a great place to call home or a great place to visit as a home away from home. Visit the beautiful downtown area with the Pike County Courthouse and many businesses and restaurants to enjoy. Then check out the Pittsfield City Lake, a great place for boating, fishing, and camping. And new to the lake this year, a disc golf course. Learn more about all that the city of Pittsfield has to offer by visiting their website, pittsfieldil.org. The city of Pittsfield and Mayor John Hayden wish the Sockies good luck this season. Did you know that PCRE Real Estate and Auction now offers a full-service auction alternative? Farmland, residential real estate, commercial real estate, estates, guns, antiques, farm equipment, and commercial equipment are a few examples that the experienced auction team is ready to assist you with. Our team can make the auction experience less stressful and smooth. Check out our next auctions at our new auction location at 500 Piper Lane in Pittsfield or call 217-430-2985 and speak with Jason Duke to learn more. Carnes Communication is our halftime sponsor, your local U.S. Cellular location in Pittsfield. They have phones and accessories. 
personalized service. Stop by the corner of Washington and Jackson in Pittsfield or call 285-5400 for Cards Communication. We are sure glad to have them alongside helping us to bring you this contest. Once you stop by and tell them thank you and check out some new phones. Individual scoring in the first half from Indian Unity. Uh, Aiden Obert has four points, two for Melvin McMillan, two for Vince Magliochetti, and one for Brett Bristow in the first half for their total of 12. I missed somebody, and I'll get it here in just a minute. I'll find him. On the other side, Tate Koonsman has 17 points in the first half, eight, eight for Cash Kirk, three for Avery Bradshaw, and two for Ethan Lothridge for their total of 33 unofficially. Uh, we're still missing one there, too. I'll find it. There it is. Michael Myers had a three, and I forgot to give him credit for that. And we don't like to do that because these kids deserve all the credit that they got coming to them. And I think Riley Duke may have had a bucket in the first half. 33-12 here at halftime. Carnes Communications, our sponsor for the halftime show. Sure was good to see Chris Dewar out here today. Make sure you tune in at 10 o'clock tonight and watch the replays of some of the things he's covering today and tell him how much you appreciate it. Central Illinois Sports is where you're watching this one. We're back with the second half after these. Since 1962, Logan Ag has provided customers but, with quality but, products, competitive but, prices, and... But what about the new locations, Grampy? What new locations? Well, boys, Logan Ag now has locations in Winchester, Illinois, and in LaBelle, Missouri. So now there are four? I'll be four this year. Logan Ag, serving customers in Griggsville and Winchester, Illinois, Paris, and LaBelle, Missouri. Our vision for agriculture is 2020. In the charming town of Pittsfield, Illinois, awaits a dining experience sure to impress. Nucci's Restaurant, specializing in Italian cuisine, succulent steaks, seafood, pasta, burgers, sandwiches, and scrumptious desserts all made to order. Mouth-watering and high-quality dishes at affordable prices. Nucci's is the perfect setting for a dinner date or a family meal. It's more than dining, it's an experience. Check out Facebook for live entertainment. Once you experience Nucci's, it will become a favorite destination. Financial investments are important, but so are the investments of the time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, and mentors. Derek Harris, your Edward Jones financial advisor, understands this. That's why Derek Harris is a proud sponsor of the player of the game on Central Illinois Sports. For all your investment needs, call Derek Harris at 217-222-7173 or stop by the office at 1891 Main Street, Quincy. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. Welcome to West Town Ford, serving Central and West Central Illinois. When you're shopping for a new vehicle, we believe you need a comfortable ambiance, dynamic selection of vehicles, competitive options for financing, and high quality service to feel confident and stress-free throughout the car buying process. At West Town Ford, you will find just that, a great selection of Ford models and a team that will make the process as smooth as possible. West Town Ford Lincoln in Jacksonville, just 30 minutes away from high prices. 33-12 as we get ready for the second half, and uh, we haven't seen anything amending yet, so we're not going to do anything for just a moment or two. That's going to give us time to tell you about LSSD Trucking and 3D Leasing. Phone 217-285-2808. Trucking for all your needs. See the Dunham Boys and their professional team. And Ty Rylander, run and walk. Virtual event registration in honor of our dear buddy Ty Rylander through February 20th. You can register online. 2021 event will be held March 20th. To the 31st, let's make it the biggest and best ever. Go to the Ty Rylander Run Facebook page to register, won't you please? By the way, if you're uh, watching today, would you subscribe? Hit that subscribe button. We'd like to have you join us in that subscription. That helps us along a little bit. It also uh, helps us to notify you when we're having a broadcast. And uh, we're going that way. It's Minden's ball. Jackson Freeman was trying to get that one in there. You have to those Yankee fans are, you know. Oh, the arrow was backwards. What Jackson's fault at all? John Freeman's fault. Sorry, John. He, he wasn't here to switch the arrow. That's right. If John had been here, he'd have switched the arrow. Because for some reason, John's running the arrow at Mendon now. I kind of thought I'd see Shoe, but they're not allowing him in the gym. Maggie oshetti has got the basketball. He passes it to Bristow on the right side to Obert. Also out there, Duke. And the fifth man is Thompson. Maggie oshetti on the drive. Bounce pass down low. Finds Duke. Good find. Missed the shot. And the rebound down to Duke. He'll go back up with it. Can't get it to go. This time the ball's out of bounds off of GP. 
stays with the Mustangs underneath. Duke was doing all he could do. Trying to get a good start for his squad to start the second half. I'll tell you what, that breeze is still nice out here, isn't it? Whew, it's cold. Maglio Shetty, left side, here's a three on the way, no good by Bristow. Rebound pulled in by Bradshaw, off to Kirk into the front court. Bounce pass down low, good find to Freeman, and he pulls it back out. To Bradshaw, he'll drive in, little runner up, no good. Rebound, a spot for it, and Kirk just stole it away. To a knifing Jackson Freeman, who puts it up and in for two. Freeman's first two points of the night, he's done a lot of other things for his team now. 35-12, the advantage for the Tornadoes now. That would be the biggest. Bristow into the front court, down low, finds his man, and Thompson who lays it up and in. Thompson with his first two. 35-14, just underway here in the third period on Central Illinois Sports. Bradshaw looked back door, wasn't open, stolen away by Bristow. Pass on the left side, he'll throw it away. As it's too far for Maglio Shetty. Hot tater, nobody wants it. 18 turnovers on Minden and eight on GP. Take Coonson brings it into the front court. He had 17 first half points. He's got it on the dribble on the right side, still on the bounce. Looks to Freeman on the left wing. Freeman will try the dribble drive, kicks it out to Kirk. Kirk looks for somebody to pop open who finds Lothridge. Beautifully Whoa, designed play and Lothridge is wide open down low. He's got four. 37-14. Tornadoes just keep coming. Into the front court, Maglio Shetty with the basketball for the Mustangs. They're down 37-14 at their home gym with 6.05 to play in the third. Maglio Shetty. We'll throw a pass down the low and had no chance of success and it's stolen away. Koonsman on the run out finds Kirk. Kirk will put it up and in for two more. Nice find of your teammate there by Koonsman. Kirk's up to uh, 10 now. 39-14 Tornadoes, and Coach Crothers is clearing the bench. He has not liked what he's seen in the first couple minutes of this third quarter. Here's Maglio Shetty in the corner for three, no good. Rebound underneath. Somebody is uh, going to be called for a foul. It's going against the Tornadoes. It's against Bradshaw. Bradshaw will pick up his third foul. Picked these first two up very early in the game. First team foul. Those five guys coming off the floor have to be over by coach now, and he's going to have a little conversation with them, do a little coaching up. That's what you do. Cram, McMillan, Jansen, Maynard, and Schaefer all into the game. Here's Maynard with it. 39-14, Griggs will parry with the lead. Mustangs have the basketball. McMillan passes it, throws stolen away by Bradshaw. Ahead to Kirk, who'll have to try to save this one in, just unable to do so as it was too far. Ninth turnover against GP on the day, 20 on Minden Unity. Tate Koonsman has got a set of arms on him now. He's been working out and getting stronger all the time. That's what you have to do if you're not going to be six foot five. He's really developed himself into a nice athlete. McMillan with it. He'll try a little pass down low. Good find. Jansen's shot was blocked, though. Rebound Jackson Freeman. Freeman's got seven boards on the day, Charlie. Puts himself in a good position. He's not a big guy, but he's working very hard. Very strong also is Freeman. Kirk with it. Free throw line, finds Lothridge. Kicks it out to Koonsman in the corner. He'll try the drive, little floater in the lane, good. Rises and shoots and gets that good spacing. He's up to 19. Turn the score around, 41-14 Tornadoes. With 440 to play in this third quarter. On the Trash Queen scoreboard. Here's a pass tipped and stolen away again by Bradshaw. Bradshaw's got a bunch of steals. He'll push it ahead to Koonsman. Didn't have numbers, so he slows it down. Good decision by Tate Koonsman. He'll go behind the back with it. Dribble drive in. Shovel pass to Lothridge. Lothridge put up a shot, and it's good. Lothridge went up strong. He's got six. Nice job by him. 43-14. Tornadoes just keep on the... Rolling through this one. 29 point lead. Like a tornado through a trailer park. They're just running right through this Minden Mustang squad. 402 to play in the third. Turnaround shot. McMillan up and in for two. He shows what he can do again. He's got four. 43 16. Under four to play in this third period. Koonsman will get a screen from Freeman. Now to the left side of things. Has picked it up. There's a pass. It's going to be tipped and stolen away by Schaefer. Schaefer with the steal. And a good foul by Freeman not to let him get the uh, easy layup. Schaefer pops back up after laying there for just a minute. Freeman wanted to help him up. Freeman will pick up the foul. That'll be his third. 
team foul number two, 43-16. Let's put Schaefer to the line. He is. Well, they're going to do the mask break first, first, Jack. Well, let's take a mask break. I love those. They're some of my favorites. 43-16, 340 left third quarter. Take a break. The Farmers National Bank of Griggsville with locations in Griggsville, Mount Sterling, and Pittsfield. Maybe you ask, why choose Farmers National Bank of Griggsville? The answer is simple. Local people, local decisions, and local commitment with local investments. We have many products and services to meet your needs. We invite you to find out more about us. Go to fmbgriggsville.com and explore all the services we offer. Visit any of our three friendly locations in Mount Sterling, Griggsville, and Pittsfield today. The Farmers National Bank of Griggsville, local people helping local people, member FDI. I see. It's time to be thinking about tax planning. You can count on Illinois FBFM for accounting, consulting, and tax preparation for farmers and businesses in Pike, Brown, and Adams County. Phone 217-593-7233. Illinois FBFM can take care of your farm accounting needs. Get your accounts in order for this tax season. Contact Bob Ray, Jesse Schutman, Triopian Kansas State grad Emily Carls, Nathan and new all-star accountant Madeline Heyer. Illinois FBFM in Camp Point, working for you. 43-16, all about scheduling, you know. 3.40 left in the third quarter. Gregsville Perry with the lead. Schaefer goes to the line to shoot two, looking for his first points of the day. That's Cody Schaefer, the 5'10 freshman. Youth movement here at Menden right now. First one up, good by Schaefer. Nice to see the freshman come out there and do that. You know, when you look at Schaefer's out there as a freshman, McMillan's a freshman. Koenig is a sophomore, and he played really nice in that JV game. Second one up by Schaefer, and he does what you want him to do. He goes out there and makes these free throws. 43-18, 3.35 to play in the third on the Trash Queen scoreboard. Right side with it is Bradshaw. Looks for Kirk coming off of the screen. Back out top, Bradshaw for three. Yes, Avery Bradshaw <laughs> from downtown. Avery Bradshaw's got six. 46-18, Kirk trying to steal it away, and he'll head up into the bleachers. He did not hit any fans over there, though. Not a one. There are five fans in the stands. Five fans. Must be uh, the parents of some of the kids. Or people that paid $1,000 apiece, and I know people that probably would have done that to watch their kids. Here's Schaefer on a little floater up off the high glass, and good. You ever made a shot like that? You know what I call those, don't you, Charlie? I do. <laughs> I do. I'm not going to, though, because you told me not to. Well, I just you can't call everything a teardrop. That was a teardrop. But every time they shoot in the lane, it can't be a teardrop. And a heartbreaker. Here's Koonsman trying to get free. He gets over the top of McMillan, and that shot won't fall through. Rebound high for it. That time was Avery Bradshaw. Back out to Freeman. Down low, Kirk, and he's fouled from behind by Maynard. Maynard to pick up the foul. Let's see, his third. First of the second half, though. 46 to 20, 236 left, third quarter. Be careful out there. Supposed to be slick. There's a wide open Lothridge, huh? They got some good plays for that young man. He's got eight points. It's 48-20 on the Trash Queen scoreboard. Trash Queen, 217-320-4320. Ethan Lothridge, a kid that we've always known has been around, but, uh, you know, kind of been at in the shadows of some others. He's really making the most of it this year so far. Working hard. 2-11 to play in the third. Pass left side to McMillan. He will throw it off in the corner. Long skip pass comes from Cram to Maynard. On the baseline, McMillan. Turnaround shot not going to fall. And Jackson Freeman, a yet another board. Eight for the day. Hey, there's two seniors on this Greensville Perry team. Bradshaw and Kirk. And there's a bunch of youngsters that are going to make it even better for this squad down the road. Here's a drive by Bradshaw. No good. Kirk tried to tip it up. Won't fall. Rebound fought for. And they're tied up. It'll stay with Grigsville Perry. And who's out there fighting for it? Ethan Lothridge. Tell you what, that's impressive. Here's you know, Tucker Shoop into the game for the first time, the six-foot junior. There's some other kids that couldn't be out here playing, but they chose not to do it or didn't do the things they need to do. And these kids are out here working their tails off and making it work. Here's Lothridge from the free throw line. He finds the mark there. Double figures for Ethan Lothridge. 50-20 tornadoes. Up by 30 with a minute 30 to play in the third. That's the biggest. McMillan in the corner to Cram. He'll throw a pass that Cash Kirk's going to tip away. Koonsman's going to steal away. He'll push it ahead for Freeman. Freeman will put up the lap, and it's good. 
52 to 20. Telling you, how many turnovers for Mendon? They have 21 in this game and had 29 in the other and we, one. And we talked about that in the pregame. Here's a pass down low. Find Shoup who's open. He'll get it to go for his first two. And we talked about that in the pregame, though. This Tornado team, you let them get out in transition, they'll beat you by 30 points. And it's happening right now. And I don't care. You can be a pretty good basketball team, and they'll keep driving you crazy because they're going to work hard the whole time. They play hard for this young man. Here's Coons been trying to shoot over the top of the big boy, McMillan. Shot no good. Rebound pulled down by the Mustangs. Into the front court, Schaefer on the run out. He'll put it up and in for two. That freshman's doing a nice job in some opportunistic time. He's got six. 52-24 with 33 seconds left in the third. Koonsman with the basketball for the Tornadoes. Toward the left side. He'll just uh, try to dribble this one out. Now the ball knocked loose. Koonsman goes and gets it with 18 seconds to play in the third. Try the drive against McMillan. He's just dribbling around saying, come and guard me, I dare you. Ten seconds left. The Freeman on the right wing. He'll try the dribble drive in. Gets to the rim, and the runner's good by Jackson Freeman. He's got six. 54-24, 2-1. Half-court shot at the buzzer, no good. And we'll have a running clock in the fourth quarter. A 54-24 lead by the Grigsville Perry Tornadoes. Up by 30 as we head to the fourth quarter. Kate Marable from Hometown Real Estate. She's from my hometown. Whether you're buying or selling a home, you can trust Kate Marable for all your home needs. 217-370-9809. That's 370-9809. Or go to www.illinoishometown.com. That's Kate Marable from Hometown Real Estate. And you can trust her because... She's from my hometown. She's from my hometown. There's no debate. Call Kate at Hometown Real Estate today. If you're near retirement or thinking about retiring, you probably have questions. How do you make your savings last? How much should you take out and when? You're ready for retirement, but are your finances? Your Edward Jones financial advisor, Derek Harris, can help you build a strategy to help your finances keep up with your needs over the long haul. You've done what it takes to get there. Now it's time to make the most of retirement. Stop by the office at 1891 Main Street in Quincy, Illinois for a face-to-fact appointment. Edward Jones, Making Sense of Investing, member SIPC. 54-24, running clock, fourth quarter, 22 of 39 for GP, 56%, 3 of 6 from the arc, 6 of 11 from the free throw line, 8 of 30 for Minden, 1 of 7 from the arc, and 7 of 10 from the free throw line, 21 turnovers against Minden, GP's turned it over 10 times, Jackson Freeman with 6 points and 8 rebounds in this game. He's really playing well. I mean, this whole Tornado team, it's just a different style right now. Than Made that. That uh, shot was up by Cram, his first two. Makes it 54-26. They're just on a different, uh, different speed than Minden Unity right now. Here's Miller on a drive. Tried to find Lothridge. Lothridge, good, strong catch. Missed the shot. Rebound pulled in by Schaefer. They just know where each other's at. Into the front court with it comes McMillan. He'll drive the lane. Shot up no good. A lot of contact. And the rebound down to Michael Myers. He'll push it across, throws a pass that's behind the man, and they'll say it's out of bounds, last touched by Jansen for Minden Unity. Throwing it in, Michael Myers. Hey, don't be despaired if you're a Minden fan. Though. There's a lot of good youth out here, and they keep working hard like this young man that's guarding out front. They'll be fine. Here's Koonsman who drives in, tried to do a little too much that time, got a shot blocked, but the Tornadoes will keep the ball. Here's Avery Bradshaw into the game. And he's going to replace Tate Koonsman. Just under seven minutes to play. 54-26 advantage for the Tornadoes. Inbounds pass. There's a wide open Lothridge. Missed the shot, though, as it was altered at the last moment by Shoup. Shoup into the front court finds Schaefer to Shoup. Now on the left side of things, Jansen gets the ball. Skip pass on the right wing. That is to Jansen in the middle. Turnaround shot, no good. Rebound pulled in by Miller. He'll throw a pass that somehow finds Avery Bradshaw in the front court. Avery Bradshaw drives the lane, and they'll see. Count the basket and one. Avery Bradshaw with another two. That gives him eight on the day. He'll get the and one. Foul will be on Schaefer. And I think it'll be Cody's first. Free throw by Avery Bradshaw is good. Did they not count the bucket? Basket went in. So that'll be it. They counted the bucket. So 
That'll be the only free throw you get. I was going to say, old Jack was wondering what they were up to there. And, you know, we got all this paper and stuff. We can, we can fix it. 5.40 to play. 57 26 tornadoes on the Trash Queen scoreboard. Had to apologize to Steve Meyer who missed the chance to have Michael with all those points the other night because of our audio problem. Glad you're listening today, Steve. Appreciate all your support over the years, especially with supplying GP with all those good basketball players. Good young man. Michael's got the ball. It's Michael Myers. In the corner, it goes to Lothridge, out to Logan Evans. To Michael Myers on the wing. Free throw line, Lothridge dribbles. Little floater in the lane, no good. Rebound down to Cram for the Mustangs. 5.05 to play. Works to the left side, Jansen. Throws a pass, tip, and Evans is going to try to run it down. He does. He's full speed ahead into the front court. Goes up for a shot, and he's fouled on the play. Fouled by Schaefer. I was going to ask you about all the Myers boys. I mean, uh, you know, Jonathan was Thomas's age, and played a little baseball with us and stuff, but those older two boys, they were players. Clayton, the oldest, Joseph. Played underneath the basket a little bit more. Logan Evans makes his first point in this contest with the free throw. Makes it 58 to 26. The clock just keeps on ticking. It'll go fast. Running clocks go fast. 30 points, third quarter, or fourth quarter, and that's what happens. Evans comes in, one out of two from the free throw line. He had a good first game today. 4.15 to play in the fourth. GP going to get out of here with a double win. Big comeback in the JV game. I mean, big. Here's a ball tipped, nearly stolen away, run down by Cram. He'll put up a shot no good, and he's fouled, and he'll shoot two free throws Loth with four minutes and counting. Lothridge going to pick up his fourth foul, I do believe. Free throws the other way. For Travis Cram, he's got four points off the bench today. First one is up. And in and out, no good. Well, thank all of our sponsors for being with us today throughout the four games we brought your way. Teams we're covering, winning them all. Next one up, no good. Rebound's going to come off. Michael Myers just out hustled everybody. He's in a peck of trouble right now. Dribbles out of it. To Bradshaw. Into the front court comes Avery Bradshaw. He might have carried it. I think his coach just said that, actually, Tim. He's got a smile on his face now. How can you tell? He's got a mask on. Well, it had fallen below the smile area. Oh. Here's a drive in by Bradshaw. No good on the shot, but he will shoot two. You know what makes the clock even seem like it runs faster? What's that, Jack? It's when they're shooting free throws, because they eat up a lot of time shooting free throws when a running clock is going on. Talcott picks up the foul. Bradshaw looking to add a few more. The lefty puts the first one in. When he gets a chance, makes it happen. He is the fourth man in double figures today for GP. Eli White's into the game, and he played hard in the fresh soft game, I Betty, thought. How about Lothrix today? What a nice job by him. Bradshaw looking for another. Gets it done. He's got 11. 60 to 26 tornadoes. 2.30 to play. Balance scoring up and down the line. A lot of guys looking for each other, finding the open man. That's impressive. Long pass. McMillan gets it. He'll work it in the corner. That's to Maynard. And now the Mustangs want a timeout. A full break. 2.15 to play in the contest. 60-26, the lead for Grigsville Perry on top of Minden Unity. PRE Real Estate and Auction is your number one resource for buying or selling real estate in West Central Illinois. With two office locations, one in Pike County and the other in Calhoun County, PCRE Real Estate and Auction is the place to go when you're looking to buy or sell farmland, recreational and hunting land, residential or commercial property. See our current listings at PCRERealEstate.com or call us at 217-285-5800 for PCRE Real Estate and Auction. Fresh Years on You would like to thank everyone in our community for your support in the past 15 years. We have over 1,400 square foot of retail space with spirit wear for Unity Mustangs, Liberty Eagles, Brown County Hornets, and our hometown Central Panthers. Businesses, let us help you promote your brand. Decoration methods we offer include screen printing, embroidery, and laser engraving. We are excited to now offer lasered hat patches. With limitations on attendance to local sporting events, we are excited to help bring you this game. Fresh Years on You by 506 Westwood, Camp Point, Illinois.
60, 26 after the timeout. We're going to be back to live action here in just a minute. You know, we've done, I don't know how many varsity games so far, and we've seen two sets of officials. These guys and the ones we saw last night, John Hull and I saw, and uh, I know there's more. Uh, no, these guys didn't work the North Green game. No, Johnny Ray Deering did. We saw him last oh, night. Oh, that's who you had last yeah. night? See, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, the Hickox and the Hiccups. Oh. Got to see Steve King for the first time last night. I though. saw he took a spill over the top of the photographer on the baseline. There's a good picture to capture yeah. that. Matty McCartney got him tripped up. Two minutes to play here. It's 60-26, the lead for the Tornadoes. Next Saturday, we'll have this squad again, right? Miller with the steal on the run out into the front court. It's Miller time. He's got another two. He's got two in this contest, 62-26. Turn those numbers around again. It's not a lot today. Yeah, we're at uh, Augusta next Saturday with the Tornadoes. Yep, GP and Augusta. That'll be a dandy. These youngsters will have to figure out what they're going to do with Danny Stevens. Now, like everybody else, you <laughs> hope that he scores and nobody else does. He can score a lot. Yes, he can. Bradshaw picks up the foul, his fourth. Remember he had two very early in the game, like in the first 25 seconds or so? He's still out there. Inbounds pass comes in. Right side, they'll work it down to McMillan, and he's fouled from behind by White. White will pick up the foul, his first. And the clock just keeps on ticking. 1-0-1 one, oh, one to play in this one. Won't be long now. About a minute and one second. They'll work it down low to McMillan, and he and White are tied up, and White will be called for another one. <laughs> Move your feet, quit hitting him upside the head. Stop the clock. He just wanted to make sure it wasn't one on one. I thought maybe we were going to take a mass break. No, no, no. No, no, this can't happen now. We've already taken one, sweetheart. Down low, the ball hits McMillan in the hands and then goes out of bounds. A turnover on the Mustangs. You know, these whistles are harder to hear. They're real the whistles. They're using the real whistles. There's under a mask. But they're inside the mask. That's what makes them hard, see? Oh, okay. They got that double mask of Dr. Fauci. That's all right, keeping us all safe. 24 seconds to play, 62-26 Tornadoes. They could just really spread the floor and run the clock out on this one, and that appears to be what they're going to try to do. He must be talking about science. Miller to Evans with 10 seconds left. Off to Miller. Tornado's going to move to 3-0 and on the season with a 62-26 win over the Minden Unity Mustangs. We head to the postgame show. It's presented by... Illini Community Hospital. We'll have final stats. Jack will have some analysis for you as well. And we'll name the Edward Jones Financial Advisor, Derek Harris, player of the game. That's all coming up for you on Central Illinois Sports. You can plan for most things in your life, but being sick isn't one of them. That's why Illini Express has expanded hours so your family can get the care you require. Open 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Illini Express can see patients 18 months and older, no appointment necessary. When you can't wait to feel better, Illini Express is here for you. Located on the square in Pittsfield. Learn more at IlliniHospital.org. They say nothing in life is free. Well, we're here to tell you they're wrong. Because when you switch to U.S. Cellular, you can get the Samsung Galaxy S21 5G for free with no hidden requirements. That's right. The Samsung Galaxy S21 5G has launched and you can get it for free with no hidden requirements. U.S. Cellular. Terms and conditions apply. See store at uscellular.com for details. Cards Communications, your local U.S. Cellular agent on the corner of Jackson and Washington Street in Pittsfield. Call 285-5400 for Cards Communications. If your job situation is changing because of layoffs or restructuring, you may have to make several decisions. One important decision may be what to do with your retirement plan. Make sure your retirement stays on track. Derek Harris, your Edward Jones Financial Advisor, can help. Stop by the office at 1891 Main Street in Quincy, Illinois. Edward Jones, making sense of investing 
member SIPC. Cole Best Systems Builders for all your insulation needs. We are a full service insulation contractor offering both open and closed cell spray foam, blown cellulose, and fiberglass installation. Best Systems has two BPI certified professionals ready to inspect your home or business today. You may qualify for incentives through the American Act on Energy program. Call Scott or Michael at 217-285-6005 for your free estimate or visit us online at gobestsystems.com and start saving money on your energy bill today. It was an 8-3 first quarter lead for GP. They led 33-12 at halftime, 54-24 after three quarters, and ended with a 62-26 win over Mendenuni. Held them the two points in the fourth quarter, in fact, in this contest. GP was 24-45, 53%, 3 of 6 from the arc, 9 of 16 from the free throw line, so there's work to do, 56%. Led by Tate Koonsman with 19 points in the night, and then he helped others get in double figures too as Avery Bradshaw has found some good passes, got there with 11, 10 for Cash Kirk, and 10 for Ethan Lothridge. One, two, three, four guys in double figures. Always like to see that. Logan Evans had a single point on the night. Jackson Freeman had six and nine boards on the evening, working hard there. Two points for Aaron Miller off the bench. And Michael Myers hit a three to add to that total of 62. On the men in unity side, Bristow with one, Riley, uh, Ryle Duke with two, six for Cody Schaefer, Maglachetti with two, three for Bryce Jansen, four for Melvin McMillan, four for Travis Cram, Aiden Obert had four and two for Cooper Thompson. A lot of people scored, just nobody scored very many. They turned it over 23 times, shot nine to 33, 27%, one of seven from the arc and 7 of 12 from the free throw line. Time to name our player of the game. Financial investments are important, but so are the investments of the time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, parents, teachers, and mentors. Derek Harris, your Edward Jones financial advisor, understands this. That's why Derek Harris is a proud sponsor of the player of the game on Central Illinois Sports. Jack, well, player of the game. I just don't think he can go anywhere else but Tate Koonsman. But, you know, Tate's going to win it a lot of times. And so today I'm going to go a different direction. I'm going to go to Jackson Freeman, who I thought really had a good floor game. Nine rebounds in the day, added six points, found a lot of assists on the day. And congratulations to Jackson Freeman for being named our player of the game. Tornadoes are 3-0. and They beat Minden Unity 62-26. That's going to do it from Mustang Country. For Jack and John Hole, I'm Charlie Hill. Thanks for joining us this evening on Central Illinois Sports.